Uh, straight up. Yeah, we back, boy. Yeah, we back, boy. Cause we vax, boys. We're the strong boy boys with they vax boys. vax, boys. Yeah, we vax, boys. Yeah, we vax, boys. Yeah, I came to the block. Yeah, we vax, boys. Yeah, I'm chilling with your mom. Yeah, she vax, boys. I came back chilling hard. We a vax, boy. We them vax, boys. We them vax, boys. Yeah, you see me rolling through with your moms. I just had to get my fucking mud during the on. Johnson and Johnson, but I need two shots. I live in live for that shit. That be five. I need that I don't want nobody else They talking Yeah, I need that Underlying conditions Yeah, I need that Diabetes, asthma, got it all I just need them shots every day Cause I ball Yeah, we vax boys Yeah, we vax boys Step back, get your shots Yeah, we vax boys Yeah, we vax boys Yeah, we vax boys Yeah, we vax Two shots, give me vax boys Yo, I'm just trying to go to the stove But motherfuckers can't even go out anymore 21 Trying to be better at this thing called life But I'm trying to fucking find out what sharper than a knife me So I just try to survive straight up 21 Try to get 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7 dresses yeah. With Catherine Heigl Yeah, you know I'm out here and I'm wild 21 Doing what I can Vaccine and I'm clean What's the situation, man? Get your vaccination 21 hey. Straight up Vax boys, Vax boys, boys. Hey yo, I need a Vax really quick. That's the facts. I don't care if I gotta get a shot in my back, in my dick, in my ass, on my hips, in my last. I don't really give a fuck. I ain't waiting. Yeah, I'm first, never last. Yeah, boy. Diabetes type two, Vax boys. I don't give a fuck about your whole crew. I'ma skip the line. People know, and the government says my life's more important than yours right now. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up with them Vax boys. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, get them Vax boys. Yeah, we back, boy. Yeah, we back, boy. Yeah, we back, boy. Straight up, straight up. Vax boys, yo, shout out to everybody locked down, quarantine, everybody trying to get their vaccine. I swear to God, motherfuckers don't even want to get vaccines no more. 21. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, we vax what boys. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the Low Priority Podcast. Episode uh, 7. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we we some vax boys. Uh, actually, got the, like, I got the rap mic today. Yeah, yeah. Got the fucking on stage. Looks like we're doing like an interview from like 2000. Like you look like a popular rapper in like 2007. Yeah, and like you, you the interviewer can only afford to do it in his like shitty house. Yeah, with his fake brick <laughs> background and shit. You look like uh like Wiz Khalifa after he put out his first mixtape. <laughs> That's what it looks like. This is like the interviews that like Beanie Siegel's doing now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you look like you're just starting the rap, or you you're done. Yeah, man, you know what it is. Just trying to. <clears throat> You know, do what we can out here and bring back the original sound of hip hop because these motherfuckers right now, they ain't doing it. They ain't doing right by it. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically it. That's what's up. That's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the interview's terrible when the fucking microphone is bouncing around. Yeah, what you, you just hear like. <laughs> every time. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, you know, like when I first wrote that rap, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> the mic is super loud. It's like over here that I'm talking. The guy always has to be like, yeah, yo, talk to the mic, talk to the mic. Oh, yeah, my bad. My bad. Yeah, what's good? Sorry about that. And everything, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we were doing like, oh, you know what I noticed about this, too, for a skinny guy? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just a skinny guy. I need to work out more clearly, but just holding this thing is like way more effort involved. Oh, yeah, dude. Holding a microphone for, you're about to hold the microphone for like two hours. I'm doing it for you, fucking people. That's yes. what I'm fucking yes. doing That's it for. One time. Don't make me. Damn, By the way, dude. that 27 Dresses Catherine Heigl reference. Yeah, it was pretty fire. You know, that, that you ever seen that movie? 27 dresses yeah i feel like i have i feel like it's on like abc family dude, it's, it's like classic. abc family movie shout out to fucking 27 dresses, dresses dude Cl- classic uh, classic like, heigl in her prime dude prime goal did you um it. did you ever like enjoy chick flicks like that there's a couple chick flicks yeah so yeah love. fuck with yeah is forgetting it, t- 27 dresses straight up dude it, i don't know why i did i just fucked with it hard What's that movie with like Jennifer Garner? It's like thirteen going on thirty. I like that one. Jennifer Garner. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen that it's one. It's like she's like a thirteen year old in a thirty year old's body. It's kind of weird now that I think about it. Oh god, yeah, yeah, those movies are always weird because like guys fall in love with her and she and she's thirteen. 
Yeah, that's weird. So was Big. Big was like that too with Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, yeah. He's that, a grown ass man. Dude. And that chick's trying to fucking make him touch her tits and shit. That's right. That's right, bro. Wow. Now that just fucking Look creates that. the question: Is it okay to do someone if they're in a twenty year old body, but they're thirteen in their soul? See, that's the thing. If the body's twenty, I'm not answering that. I think if the body's twenty. If I was if I was <laughs> this 10, is gonna go so bad. <laughs> if I was ten, right? We should just stop. If right I was now. ten, right, and I went to the fucking boardwalk and I talked to that Swami guy, yeah, and I played that game and I came quarter for the quarter. I love quarters. <laughs> if I gave him a fucking quarter and he goes, "Hey, listen, now I'm twenty. I'm gonna yeah. have sex with older women. Why not? Oh, I'm gonna. I mean, yeah, as a guy, yeah, I'm gonna bang. I'm older gonna women for sure. I'm gonna bang an older woman. I'm gonna suck some tits, and then I'm gonna go to FAO. Schwartz. They wouldn't believe you anyway, even if you told them you were tw- you were 13. No, nah, I just want to fucking have sex and go fucking play on that adult foot piano. But that no one ever talks about that. That, that woman was just trying. I think they bang, don't they, in that movie? But you don't see it. Um, Maybe I don't know. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't know. Watch the movie Big with Tom Hanks if you fucking haven't. It's about basically the movie's about an older woman trying to fuck a young dude. What about Jack? Uh, Jack's kind of weird too. Oh god, yeah, that movie's sad. Also, yeah, with fucking Robin Williams. Every time he does like the commencement speech at the end, I always, I always cry. Oh yeah, because so that movie's about he's growing old too fast, right? And Jennifer Lopez is in it, but he's, he's only like super ten years young. old. Yeah, and he has a crush on Jennifer Lopez, and he's like, "Hey, I'm old. Like, we could hook up." She's like, "No, like, dude, just because your body's old, yeah, this, doesn't this mean defuncts, I'm do you? Yeah, this defuncts my theory actually, because she yeah. wouldn't do Robin Williams. Yeah, he was seven, but he looked but, like he was. But you know who was down to fucking suck him? Fucking Fran Dresch. Fran Drescher, yeah, that's true. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I can't really do. <laughs> People have no idea who Fran Drescher is. Oh god! Look up the nanny. So. You ever seen the nanny? She was hot. The nanny with Franny. I would have banged the hell out of Fran Drash. Hell yeah! She just dude. looked like, oh god! Oh my god! I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> she was oh like god! A- Who else was? There? Oh, Creepy Cosby's in that movie. Creepy Cos. Is he in that movie? He's yeah. in Jack. Yeah. yeah. Well, Creepy Cosby. He's like the mentor for him. She was for a lot of people until he turned into Creepy Cos. Creepy Cosby. <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be like Creepy, creepy Crawlers? Creepy Crawlers. <laughs> you remember Creepy Cos? Oh, my God. Cos. <laughs> you remember Creepy Cos? You remember Creepy Cos? Straight up, 21. I, I think I was rapping too much Straight like up. fucking 21. <laughs> Yo, did you, wait, Creepy Crawlers, those weren't the ones that you made, creepy right? Creepy Crawlers. Yeah, you would fill them up with, like, goo and, like, pull out a scorpion. That's, f- oh, yeah, it was like a yeah, scorpion. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And then you would, like, you could scare your friends. You'd be like, no one's ever seen a neon green scorpion in New York. No one's going to be scared by that. No. I'll I'll immediately, no, my my New York brain knows what <laughs> I have to be ready for in a yeah, kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, if I saw a neon scorpion, first of all, I'm keeping it. Yeah, I'm taking I'm like, it home. Dope. I'm putting a fucking cool ass fucking collar on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naming them like Neon Nick or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you know, Neon Nick <laughs> sounds like a, like a one of Riff Raff's nicknames. Yeah, or I would get him and then try to get a bunch of it's other scorpions meow. and let him be like stinging the police. <laughs> oh, that's fucking That'd great! Be fire. That's adorable. Hell too. yeah! Right? I'm just be like, yeah, this is my scorpion named Sting. These are his friends. The police. did we? I don't think we had creepy crawlers as a grown. We never got uh, that. Right? We did. Did we? we? Did. Hell yeah. We had those. We had those fucking right. Mad Max uh, pocket things. I'm going to ask you, listen, you guys know this podcast. Usually a dick's going to be brought up eventually. Yeah, here yeah, there. yeah. Did you ever put your penis in GAC? In GAC. <laughs> Fuck yeah, fucking dude. Fucking finish it before I've, I can even ask I put, the question. I, I do. When I was like, I think I was like 10, I put my penis in and just went. Yeah, and they're like, oh, damn, that thing's farting. Hell, <laughs> I kind of like this. <laughs> Why did they make so much stuff that you could put your penis in when you were a kid? <laughs> you know the other thing, too? Remember those like little things that had water in them? You could squeeze them, and they had like little fish in them? Oh, yeah, those things could go, like, they could wrap, wrap around wrap your, around your dick. Yeah, dude. Had fun God. with those, too. And who like, wouldn't? Like, who wouldn't want to yeah, have fun wouldn't? with that? Anybody who's, like, denying that they ever even thought of any of those things is not fuckable is out of their mind. No, I agree. I agree. I agree with you. But there are some things, now that I'm older, that maybe I do wish that I had sex with, that being one of them. Oh, man. I would relive it every time. Oh, my God. They literally made a, a billion-dollar industry called Fleshlight. That was the original Fleshlight. Dude. That's exactly. I fucking wasn't even going there with my brain. You're yeah, a fucking genius. That's what it was. Somebody That's was literally playing. what it was. We were fucking like 
We were fucking like that's like professional like you know fuckable stuff, adult fuckable. Yeah, we, like, we were yeah. doing it before it was even a thing. Yeah, we do a lot of things before it's cool. Like everyone like went to Florida. Now I went to Florida before it was cool and it was bad. And then I came back to New we, York when we, everybody didn't want to come back to New York. That's now true. they want to come back to New York. Well, we talked about that, and I, I asked you, I was like, how, how, how cool is Florida after all the things that you hear about, about what's happening, what happens in Florida? Florida is but, fucking cool, bro. Florida's dope. It's just like the, the thing that sucks about it is everyone down there is kind of fucking crazy. But yeah. if you can match their energy. Everyone's their nuts. State, yeah, yeah. I literally saw an article that said uh, Florida man goes into to, – uh, Panera bread and throws his sperm on everybody. He, a guy, walked around with like two cups of sperm, just throwing it on people's shoulders, and then going to the next person. Swear to God, this is a real thing. It's fucking crazy. I don't know where in Florida though. That's the thing. It's it's where I was. I was in Fort Lauderdale and Miami area, Broward County. Yeah, there was no shortage of fucking maniacs. Oh, yeah, I believe Like, it. you knew the story from the basement yard. Like, I was in 7-Eleven, and a guy came in, and his face was split open. He looked like one of those fucking things from the last yes, of us. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. The, fucking the click- clickers? Yeah, I was like, dude, I need to get the fuck out of here. Dude, but what a perfect opportunity to be in a Panera Bread and just be like, you want some dressing with that salad? <laughs> and just fucking throwing your sperm all over, like, a fucking Cobb salad or a fucking uh, Caesar salad. <laughs> and first of all, also... Uh, Cobb Panera- salad's a thing, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's fine. you never seen that... Uh, that um, that curb your enthusiasm, um, uh, curb your what? Curb your enthusiasm episode when he's this guy lies about creating the cop salad. Oh no, I've never be- seen it. He doesn't believe him, and he looks it up. He's in a wheelchair too. <laughs> like he came up with the fucking yeah, idea yeah. for he's a like, cop salad. He's like, I know your grandfather didn't create the cop salad. Oh god, I gotta see that. I've yeah, never seen that episode. But also, just for the record, Panera sucks. You don't like Panera? Fuck I think they've no. had like. Pop and soup sometimes. Every once in a while, I would go into Panera and get like New England clam chowder, which was a New England clam chowder, but in a bread bowl. Yo, They're, chowder in bread? Yeah. Come on. Oh. Come on. But you got to remember too, Panera breads, like like all top big corporation, like food chain companies, after like the f- first five or six years or something, they start falling off. Besides like the one original spot, maybe. You know what I mean? <sighs> They never, they never last forever to be that great. Do you ever watch old movies and see like a Starbucks cup? You're like, I didn't know that was a thing back then. Yeah. Yep. Like I saw like some movie in like 1998 and the guy had a Starbucks cup. Dude, Starbucks has been, Starbucks has been around for like fucking 20 something years. More. I think this dude didn't do anything. No. All he he got rich as shit. Open a coffee store. Yeah. That's it. Someone handed it down to him. Someone owned it before him. Really? Yes, I think that's I, the I story. I didn't know that. An older guy or something, and then he just gave it to him, and then he just ran with the, with the shop, and then just fucking became super rich. He just became a fucking ill-ass fucking Starbucks boy? Starbucks, and Starbucks kills it all the time. Starbucks Hell is yeah. fucking, Starbucks is basically like the like uh, like the iPhone for coffee addicts. You know oh, I mean? yeah, yeah. It, it is the apple of coffee for sure. Shout out, yo, fucking caramel macchiato. Oh, oh, I love a caramel fucking schmack it up. Fucking a mocha, ice mocha. <laughs> Ooh, ice mocha is good too. No whipped cream. Yeah. Uh, two shots of mocha. But and almond milk. See, that's next level. I just usually do like a caramel. I'm I'm a fucking. Do you say caramel or caramel? Uh, I say caramel. I don't really go that hard. Like I don't I don't know like a caramel. Starbucks lineup. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you're. Are it's you very a- intimidating? Like the venti ocho cuatro cinco. Like, yeah. I don't fucking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So bit of a yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they decided like the one thing that's going to be st- Spanish about Starbucks is the sizes. Is that the? Is that? Is it? Is it Latin or Spanish? Isn't? Is it's it probably, venti, it's venti? Latin. It's Latin. No, but venti ocho, venti, venti cinco. <laughs> <laughs> like whenever, you, whenever every every time I'm I do Luca. every time I do fake Spanish, people fucking think I'm I'm saying I'm, it's yeah because real. because you're fucking amazing at it yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't know where I, I went. Can, yeah, that. I can't even do that. Like if I try to do. <laughs> and every time I do it, someone's Here, like, watch, yeah. watch, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Melky, three RBIs today, two hits in the ninth inning alone. It was a nine-run rally. How do you feel about having the hit to bring the win home for the Yanks? Uh, the translator, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Eh, ¿Cómo te imagino que te hacía a mi cara el, el y bueno, como yo estaba chido, se me iba a ir 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 a Alex Rodriguez, uh, how do you feel about going into this playoff stretch with uh, a really hot bat? Como te quiero decir, este vez hay que ver los Yankees. Cuando tú dices Alex Rodriguez, el escritor, you know he's the greatest, right? So he's the greatest. So I hay que follow him. Hay que tener cuidado. No me quiere casi yo separar. Cuando uno sí se anda mirando los canchillas tallando, ¿sabes? said Alex Rodriguez is great. All right, guys, that's Melky. Thank you so much. Melky Cabrera, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, Papi. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that fucking fake Spanish is unreal. It is. I I, I've had it. Spanish people be like, I fucking feel like you're talking to me, but like you're not saying anything at all whatsoever. I, I think you could honestly, for some or reason. Or fake Japanese. This is ba yeah, this is based on no fucking knowledge. But I feel like you could learn Spanish faster because you could talk like that. Yeah, maybe I could. Like, if you really studied it, you'd pick it up very easy. That all sounded I like Spanish. I, I wish I did speak Spanish, though. I really did. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not that. I mean, you, we. I think you could still. It's the second language in America. You could probably. We could still take it up. Yeah, I dude. We could. I know a lot of Spanish. When I went to Spain, I spoke. I spoke a lot of Spanish. And I was very, very good. Uh, right. Because the Spanish that we learned in school right, yeah. was formal Spanish. Yeah, and in Spain, that's the type of uh, Spanish that they speak. Yes, where I would be fucked is if I did go to DR or PR. Oh, it would be so fucked. No, I don't know. I don't know. I can't different. keep up with how fast motherfuckers are. Sometimes you pick out like three words and you can formulate maybe a sentence from it in your head. See, mom didn't want us to speak Spanish because she wanted us to be American. And everyone was racist to her. <laughs> <laughs> I think she. I mean, she also told us that we were little assholes and we wouldn't sit still and like to learn. I think it was a mixture, maybe. Yeah, but I feel like listen. If I'm a kid and you only speak Spanish to me, yeah, I'm but gonna uh, speak Spanish. What the fuck? Yeah, but imagine mom in a room like you grow up and you be white. You understand me? You grow up white. You know how hard it is out here. You only be full white. <laughs> you get out there and you fucking full white it every step of the way. It's like Billy Madison, like fucking shakes your face. Yeah. Oh, yo, yeah, speaking. I want you to. You, I want you to be full white when you get out there. This world is crazy. Yo, first of all, speaking of people going crazy, uh, our buddy uh, Ben. Yes. Sent um, me a voice note. Oh, I think you were telling me about yeah, this. Yeah, he sent he sent me a voice note at. Let's see, because the clocks went back. He sent me a voice note at one fifty five a.m. and then I looked at it and it was three thirty. Uh, AM. Well, okay. Well, so that's how I realized yesterday was daylight savings because I thought I had a fucking stroke. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Oh, yeah, shit. You asked me, you're like, yo, tonight? And I was like, no, it happened earlier. I, yo, it's so annoying. I just changed the clock on my fucking car the other day Damn. to fit with now. Damn. Uh, so what happened? What uh, what, what What is on said audio there, message? There, there is no text leading up to this. I just get this at one. 55 in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Here oh, we go. Is there racism involved? No, 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 okay. no, no. It's a plane? Oh. One second. Here we go. So he's wa you can hear him walking. Right. So you can hear he's walking. Right. Here we go. Sounds like so much extra shit, but here we go. 155 in the morning. Sounds this. like a phone falling from the sky. Banging on a door. Yeah, man. Is it loud? My, my bedroom is literally that wall. Turn the fucking music off. I'm serious. Right, it's too fucking loud. I'm fucking pissed off. All right. Turn, it off. turn the fucking music off. And it just goes back to. <laughs> it just goes back to fucking run. The whole message. <laughs> Yo. Is that Ben getting G on somebody? Yeah, dude, he's fucking getting gangster as fuck, yo. What, yeah. Were they playing music? They were playing music. I love how he's just like, turn the... I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm serious. Right, it's too fucking loud. <laughs> it's too fucking loud. Is it loud? 
Yeah, man. Is it loud? My, my first of all, if you ever open a door and the first thing you say is, yeah, is it man. too loud? It's too loud. Yeah. If that's yes. the first thing, if you're not even greeting someone being like, oh, hey, what's up? If you go, is it too loud? You know it's too also, loud. Also, where where does Ben live that he was walking that fucking far to get to that apartment? It sounds like it's nowhere near his apartment. <laughs> no, I know, I know. He's I know. walking like three miles. No, I think he's walking around his apartment. Pissed off. Pissed off. Yeah. I love how he started that though. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You're about to, I'm about to fuck your shit up right now. <laughs> Shut it the fuck up. Yeah, man. Is it loud? My, my bedroom is literally that wall. Turn the fucking music off. I'm serious. It's too fucking loud. I'm fucking pissed off, all right? Turn the fucking music off. Wait, are these younger dudes? And Ben's just going in? Yeah, no, they probably... All right, so after that, I was like, yo, Jimmy. doesn't matter. If you're fucking bumping shit and it's like violently disrespectful yeah, to your neighbor... Do you, you know, know how I mean? loud that apartment is? As soon as the guy opens the door, it's like... Yes, yeah, like... I'm guessing it was, so was it, did you, did you get, uh, context at all? Did you even talk so to him? So I, I text him. I just go, bro. Why'd you send me that? Yeah. And he doesn't respond to me. Oh, he didn't respond at first. I responded two minutes after he sent me that. He didn't respond. Uh, okay. The next morning he's just like, yo, bro. He's like, I went there once and asked them nicely, nicely. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, he said the guy was rude. Yeah. People but, might think like at first Ben's a huge dickhead <laughs> yeah, for that yeah, fucking for initial disclaimer, message. Ben is not Ben is not a dick. That's no, not no. that's not a one time thing for Ben. Yeah. But um let me ask you this. It's my wall right there. Turn it the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking pissed off. That's the kind of anger where you don't give a fuck who it is. Dude, you know what I mean? You're furious. You're you don't furious. care how big they are. You don't care anything. What do you want to ask me? I, I feel like I might know, but if not, I have something for you too. Um, so you twitch late at night. Yes. Right? And yes. Obvi- obviously what you do goes all through the night. So it's, it's very just, loud. So it's extremely loud. Yeah, I am. I You can hear me. You don't hear music bumping or anything. How, like are, that. how are you in those situations when someone's just like, yo, like... There's literally a clip of me, them hitting the ceiling and me going, shut the fuck up! <laughs> because it was rude of me to come in like that at the same time, but like, it's my job. Right. You know? So it's like, if they have a problem with... I'm not moving my time. They're going to have to either call the police on me or whatever it is. Have like, they ever called the cops on you? No, but they used to stomp on the on the ceiling. So then we we talked to them all the time. They said it's it's fine. They understand. I think they either they probably moved rooms. That's my guess. Oh, maybe they did. That they probably moved rooms for me. And I feel like a dick, but at the same time, it's like I asked my landlords, can I do this job? And they were like, yeah, I mean, it's late. But they said they got complaints at first, but now it's okay. Yeah. I, I, because I am. Yeah. And rightfully so. I mean, I'm loud and I don't want people to think I'm just walking in and strong arming. But at the same time, it's like I'm not changing my time up for anybody. Right. But I could understand if it was like that where it's throughout the whole day and it's like boom, 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 and you're just trying to sleep. But that's the thing. They are sleeping. They wake up at five in the morning and you just have this Puerto Rican rooster downstairs. Just saying, fuck it. Fuck it. Have you ever felt bad? Puerto Rican Italian. Um, yes. No, I did. I, I actually. So here's the here's a funny story. You don't even know this. Um, the guy comes out outside of his apartment and I go, listen, Poppy, like my bad. I, I know it's like, uh, that's my immediate, uh, rea- reaction. All Spanish people just start with Poppy. Um, but that's the first, first thing I go, I start, I, I just kick into to gear, to gear with that. But I was like, listen, Poppy, like, I know I'm late. At, it's late sometimes and I'm loud, but it's my job. It's what I do. Blah, 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 blah. And he didn't even speak English. Oh, wow. He lives with them. He barely speaks English, but he didn't understand anything I said. I had to fucking rephrase and say everything to the actual guy who owns the apartment. <laughs> yeah. Who's, he speaks be- he speaks better English, but I sat there and this poor dude listened to me just blah, 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 blah for like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. And he didn't understand a fucking word I said. He goes, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just yeah. went upstairs and so, I was like, fuck, I got to say that all over again. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Yeah. And I was looking for pitted dates like dates i don't even know what a fucking date is is it a grape is it a fruit what it's the like fuck a, it's is like it? a pr- yeah like a prune i think yeah, it's, or it's like a pruned it's grape like a, or some shit yeah yeah it's a part of that pit shit family so i'm in there and i feel so bad like everyone who is working there i could tell probably doesn't speak the best english because i could hear them talking to each other and and helping other customers right and in my head i was like yo listen this there's no way this fucking guy is going to know where the fucking pitted date is. Yeah. So I asked him, I was like, hey, uh, do you know where uh, uh, pitted dates are? And he <laughs> looked at me like I asked him, like, uh, what's the last yeah. question? Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. I yeah, felt yeah. so bad. He just goes. Or like if his daughter was free. tonight. <sighs> he looks at me and, and just goes. 
No, we don't have. Fuck. Because you know what? I felt for him in that moment. Yeah, because like, because he's like, damn, dude. And then I came back with it in Spanish, and like, we laughed about it. Right, because you like feel bad, and and then you're like, but we have so much technology now. Like the new iPhone update, you can literally just say it in that and then give them the phone and then I they can it. hear it i do it almost every time i'm in like a lyft or a uber that's it's what i'm gonna do when i go abroad because i'm gonna be fucking scared shitless you've never been out of the country right as an adult just, no canada and that to me doesn't count because that's just like our those are our neighbors i'm telling you, know you I mean? i'm telling you like listen you don't have to do shit but you got to go to europe oh i'm gonna do a euro trip i want to do you got you have to see oh, you have to yes. see so you know you yes. should definitely go to italy I want to do it. I want to do a Euro trip because I feel like a lot of funny shit would happen to me while I'm out there too. You oh know? yeah, like uh, yo, Sweden was lit. Fucking uh, Spain was dope. Like, yeah, there's places you'll go and that you'll be like, yo, and I, I heard, can live here. Yeah, I could fucking. I that's that's what I feel like would happen. I'll get one place that's like gonna move me mentally. Or something amazing is going to happen. Like, I mean, I just like sleep with a beautiful woman for once in my <laughs> life, and uh, and like <laughs> it's just a great time, <laughs> and then. Well, where was the other? And then, uh, and then, fucking, just have a great time out in Europe, and then not want to leave and want to stay there. I'm also very lazy too. Like, once I get there, I'm gonna be like in love with it and get used to it. Then I'm gonna be like, I don't want to fucking go back to America. So yeah, you start like speaking with like, I know a guy. I know Danny, a guy. Not, yeah, we have a podcast for like. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm not I'm never coming back to America. I not come back for you. I never come back to this. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging, By the way, we are sipping on fucking. Well, he is. I am. He's not. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm God, this not, thing smells like your fart that you did earlier, dude. God, I, this kid ripped the most. Like, I don't know how it got worse crack, as time went on. I don't know how you didn't crack a thread in the universe and like everything just got just yeah. turned into. That's like a. Ti- out. It's like a time traveling fart. That shit. Your I, ass I, is like what super villains would use. Like at the end, like you know, but a countdown to ruin the world, Whoop. and and just end it. <laughs> <laughs> I could end Corona or something. Like dude, it was crazy how it was getting worse. Yeah, dude, it got worse over time. It just got stinkier and stinkier. Even and even him, and it was his own fucking. What, what, what do you? What, what's the saying? Is spunk? You, no. <laughs> no. Musk. Musk. No, no. Scent. Yes. Scent. You like your own label? What is it? What's Smell the saying? Your own Can it dis shit air. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, ass wind. No, it's and it's not. No, it's it's uh. You like your own brand or something? Isn't yes, that what it is? Yes, 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 yes. Which yes, do you yes. think is true? Have you ever smelled your own fart and just be like, yeah, that's fucking ripe. For some for some reason, I can live in in a sea of my own farts. <laughs> I have I have no problem. And, like, other people talk about, like, they fart all the time, but, yo, I fart all the time. It's I definitely disgusting. have ones where I'm like, oh, Mike, what are you doing? Especially, you like, know? after a night of, like, McDonald's and shit, and you just haven't got out of bed, and you lift that blanket, it's just oh, fucking shit fuck, dust. yes. It should just, like, <laughs> Yes. God. That's what I was saying the other day. Onesies are basically uh, mobile fucking Dutch ovens. Yeah, and whoever the genius was that made that little latch to take a shit. Yes. Kind of dope, but kind of gross. Yes, very gross. Do you sleep? All right. So there's the also th- like, do Teletubbies take shits? Yeah, of course they do. Of course. I know people are gonna be like, "This is a, it's a fictional show, man." The thing like, I did, the thing I didn't know about Teletubbies is that they're like seventeen feet tall. Are they actually? Yeah, like the char- costume was no, no, like the characters uh, uh, are supposed to be like giants. They're giant things. Motherfucker, I'm the sun. Motherfucker, I'm the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of Danny's Instagram videos that he did, and he's like, it looks like he's like the baby son. In uh, he's the baby son in uh, in Teletubbies. How fucking weird is that too? They're like, yeah, let's make the son a baby. What? Make, it makes no fucking sense. It's so why? weird. Like, why are you making the son a baby? I don't want to pray to to a baby. I know they like found the baby later on and shit, and they're like, "This is him now." Who gives a fuck? Also, oh, the, oh, I thought in the show like they found the baby. <laughs> no, 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 that would be fucking. That would have been. You, you're like, damn, I missed that episode. <laughs> yeah, fuck, <laughs> goddamn, <laughs> 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 DVR that one. Is uh, there was there a meaning behind? Like, why the fuck was the son a baby? I have no idea. Did they ever find Carmen San Diego too? That fucking bitch. <laughs> she was no. a fucking slippery one that i don't know it lady. took me a while to process the bitch um she was no i just know that i just know that 
Do you remember the Carmen San Diego fucking theme song? The theme song? No, that's how I was doing that. And then I got one guy goes, Holly Bottle Kidney, I know that stuff, Virginia. Down in Fremont, Jersey, where they're hanging out all the time. The best thing about 80s and 90s TV shows, they always hired a black singer to fucking kill the intro the intros. Yeah. They would crush those. Yeah. Those vocal those vocal gospel runs. Oh my god, they would crush them. And you'd be singing about the most ridiculous shit. Yeah, and then it would be the whitest host ever. Yeah, it'd be the whitest host. Hi there. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi there! And for all the racist people, they're like, "Don't worry, that guy's just the singer." Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> enough. You Don't know. worry, white audience. And it, was, it, was, it was always <laughs> weird to me too how they made the Black Ranger and Power Rangers wear the black suit, which is like kind of cool. But like in the time, I was like, oh, "They really went for it, huh?" Dude. <sighs> and the Asian girl, they made her wear be the Yellow Ranger. I we noticed that I think when we were mad young. Too. I was like, "There's something racist." We're like, about "What the, the fuck?" That's a little too. I was like, why is Zord- yeah, no. Zordon's a fucking skinhead? He is. Yeah. Rangers. Rangers. <laughs> Rangers. Everybody go besides Zach. Yeah, and then they're just Zach, like- front of the line. <laughs> why do you always put me in the front, bro? I need you to go s- uh, scope it out. Go without your costume this time also. Yeah. I want to see something. I just want to see what happens if you go by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Zordon's a racist. Zordon's Bro, a that's racist, a good yeah. skit. That has to be a skit. Fucking racist Zordon. Zordon's definitely a racist. And then they help his little sick ass, stupid dead body in that movie. Yeah, and he has like he's living on crystals. Rangers. He li- he listens oh yeah, to like he's a- sleeping in a bed of crystals, and he's got on a fucking a used toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's as a like, fucking dress. Yeah, he's got like a Yeezy season seven dress on. <laughs> yeah, like a Yeezy poncho. <laughs> he's got like a Yeezy poncho. Easily would be like ten thousand uh, yeah. dollars, like a fear of God. Poncho. Dude, Zordon was definitely a racist. I feel. And who was that? Di- uh, who was the robot too? Uh. Oh, the one that was like, Zordon, I don't rock. <laughs> no, Zordon. No. Yeah, the dude that looked like a fucking uh, Roomba with legs. Yeah, I never knew if it was a girl or a boy. I don't think it, I don't think it, it didn't matter back then. It definitely matters now, though. I really want to know what the Actually, robot's pronouns were. I think if it's a robot, uh, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that fucking little bastard also, by I'm the way. I'm going to look up what the fuck. Who was. made him? It was Did like, Zordon make him? Yes. What the uh, fuck was his name? Is it a him or is it a her? Is she, was, I don't was, know. Actually. It had to do with like numbers and shit. Power Ranger. And didn't the Yellow Ranger die? Uh, the the original Alpha Five. That was his name. He oh, is Rangers. <laughs> he is a robotic <laughs> assistant. So it, he it, he has uh, he is his pronoun. Oh, it's a, it, he goes as a he. Yeah, he goes as a he. Fucking uh, he robots, fucking yeah. coming in and fucking just screaming all the time and being wacky and nuts. He was very like. Rangers. W- <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he was like sparks, sparks would fly out of him yeah, and shit. They're yeah. like Alpha. He's like yeah. Yeah, and and what the fuck was like um. What was that one fucking, uh, that chick, and she was banging that other guy, Zeptar, or whatever the fuck his name was? Oh, uh, uh, uh Who was the uh, guy who was J- like a- Jason? Like Not a, Jason. The White Ranger? No, who was the bad dude that looked like a brain with like a, with like a body, with like a body? Oh, no, that's, that's from, uh- No, no, that's Power Rangers. The, dude, like, the woman that talked like this! No, Lord Zen- Zena, Xenon, or some <laughs> shit. The woman? No, not the woman, dude. This was a guy. He was like a big fucking red brain looking dude. His name was like Xenon. It was like Lord Xenon or something. They oh, worked together. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, worked yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you had the one dude who was in the gold but was like a cat or some shit. Yeah, and it was a horribly like American dub show. Oh, so bad. It was so, so bad. bad. She's like, I want them all dead right now. <laughs> yeah, her, that was, uh, that was uh, I forgot her fucking name. Though. Did Buckethead play that? I think, he, I think he wrote the song, yeah. Buckethead, the guitarist. Whoever, the song. they were like, yo, we need a fucking song for Buckethead. They're like, all right, we'll just do the best guitar riff of all time. Is it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. If this doesn't want to make thing. everyone do cocaine, I don't know what else does. <laughs> and drive off road. It's like... Go, go. 
up my pussy! Oh, this is the full version. Yeah, great, great fucking theme song. Great fucking theme song. Love that fade out. That was a great fade out. That is a tasty riff. That is, man. I'm the dentist. That was a. That's a t- dude. That song. Stand up, down make up, down. You and me just start slapping the shit out of each other, bro. We were just fucking going nuts Wanted as kids. To kill someone for the fucking rain. God, that's such. That's the. It was either dare or that that would introduce you to yeah. cocaine. Also, the Blue Ranger was gay, and he said that they, everyone was very mean. Yeah, in real life. Scene. Yeah, he got fucked with on set. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Like that's it. People were just in the time and shit like that. But I feel like, like so many actors were gay. Though. Though. But also, there was like a weird curse behind it. It seemed like no one was happy on that fucking show. I know. To be honest. And then right? the white Two people ra- died from the, from the show. <sighs> Did they? Yes. The crazy girl that you were doing that was like, ah, nah, nah, nah. And, then, uh, and then the Yellow Ranger, she died in a car. Oh, she was sick, I think. Rangers! But the other one, uh, I don't, we don't know any of their names. Uh, Miss Zeta, whatever the fuck her name was. Uh, she died in a car crash, I think. It was like a cursed show, man. There was like mad unhappy people on that fucking show. I just typed in which Power Rangers are dead. Oh God, that's well. Uh, one red Power Ranger, the later one, stabbed his roommate in the chest with like one of his swords. Oh yeah, that's remember right. that shit. Yeah, see that show is fucking cursed, bro. Some shows are just cursed, or some some you know what I mean. Like there are people that just like bad shit just keeps happening. Uh, I, I want to see. If, oh yeah, she did. She was involved in a fatal car accident. In yeah, car, yeah, car accident. The Yellow Ranger. And then the uh, yeah, the Yellow Ranger was. Yeah. Uh, oh, I had the biggest crush on the Pink Ranger. Ricardo Medina Jr. was convicted of slaying his roommate. Ricardo Medina got his big break playing Red Lion, 2020 Power Rangers Wild Force. They lost me at that point, but yeah. and, and returned in 2011 to play Decker of the Power Rangers Samurai. What the fuck? All right. Anyway, yeah. then he got according his, to uh, prosecutors, media got. Uh, Medina got into a fight with his roommate, Josh Sutter, over the fact that Medina's girlfriend was at their house. Oof. Hey. Damn. The roommate allegedly broke down Medina's bedroom door, at which Medina grabbed a sword and stabbed Sutter repeatedly. Medina insisted that he was an act of self-defense. Which, to be fair, is the most Power Ranger thing you could do when killing someone. Yeah, he, he went to prison for six years. Oh, yeah, I don't think the guy died, by the way. No. no oh, I remember this guy. He was a bully, the fat bully guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He played Ernie. Oh, he, and he passed away. See, she did, too. What yeah. was hers? Uh, pancreatic cancer. Oh, uh, she had sickness, yeah. That, I got it mixed up. And, she, then a heart, she was and then Zordon died of a heart attack. God damn, dude. Fuck the Power Rangers. Everybody died on dude, this Dude, it's show. a. I told you, it's a cursed show. Yeah, that's There's wild. terrible that's, thing happening. That, that's scary terrible thing happening Ter- ter- <laughs> terrible thing <laughs> happening uh, we're not la- i'm not laughing at that by the way That's sad. <laughs> um but like there were just shows like that but you remember dude power rangers was the one thing that was fucking competing with ninja turtles back in the day yeah yeah i mean i i, I always was chose turtles yeah, it was large it was such a big fucking show that show was hella large it was um, a big fucking show did you did you like uh what was that other one where it was like Battle Toads? Remember Battle Toads? Battle Toads, yeah. Battle where they toads. were like they wore oh. glasses like this and they were all like shredded toads. Yes. But like that's such a yoked. that's such a rip off of like amphibious shit. You know what I mean? Like we already have turtles. Actually, no, wait, turtles are reptiles, right? And frogs are amphibians. Frogs are amphibians and turtles are reptiles. But yes. what the fuck is the difference? Amphibians can breathe underwater? Uh they can breathe underwater. Um, so can reptiles, but I think frogs, I think amphibians can hold their breath longer. Why does amphibian, why does amphibious sound like the name of like a fucking, uh, college draft student for football? Hello, I'm amphibious Tyrell and I play fucking <laughs> OTL or some shit. <laughs> That's like that skit for Key and Peel, dude. It's dude, so good. That, that sketch is one of the smartest and funniest sketches I think I've seen in a long time because that's like fucking it's so true yeah to brickashaw ferguson is a real name yeah i remember hearing that shit when i was a kid i remember when to brickashaw got drafted when we were we were watching that draft yeah and i was just like that name is fucking crazy yeah and you better be good at football if your name's the brickashaw ferguson or tough as fuck because that's yeah. a badass name if What's you your- if you come into a room and you're like my name's to brickashaw nice to meet you i'm I don't have respect for you. No, 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 no. But if you come in that room just being like, yeah, I'm going to fucking help kill you, then I'm like, ball, I'm like, yeah, that's the Debr- That's the Brickashaw. That's the Brickashaw I know. That's the Brickashaw I know. That's the Brickashaw I want. And Amphibious Tyrell. And Amphibious Tyrell. Amphibious Tyrell, James Madison University, OTL. 
I love that sketch. It's so good. Do you think, um, uh, cause you've been watching last chance you, right? Yes. Uh, show is great on Netflix, man. Did, Holy how fuck. did you, how did you start watching that? I saw last chance you, um, it was just, I just saw like a fucking thumbnail and I was like, it's a bunch of kids who play ball together. And, uh, I, as much as I didn't want to play sports or have that much of a passion for it, I still love the idea of like making a team and being a leader and like watching fucking kids come together in like bad inner cities and then just like not even do that and just focus on crushing it, doing teamwork, saying, yo, fuck all that violent shit and whatever and blah, 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 let's play ball. And I, I that's the idea that I literally got from the thumbnail alone. And then I started watching it. Such a good show. So good. Last chance you had a football season, though, you said. Originally. They had, like, two or three. And uh, I heard, like, this coach, the basketball coach, is, like, the nicest of all the ones on Last Chance You. Dude, and he's still crazy. Dude. He puts them through sh- crazy shit. The fucking football coaches on Last Chance You are some of the biggest pieces of shit. Like, mm. it's, like it's crazy. Like, like uh, they get accused of, like, being racist, like, by their players and shit. Damn. And it becomes, like, a huge fucking thing. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, I got to check that out. One fucking guy uh, yeah. pun- punches a ref during the game. A coach? Yeah. Jesus, yeah. This was, like... Yeah, this- don't punch me, motherfucker! So, this was intense, and it was filmed, like, last year. Um, during, like, after Kobe Bryant, rest in peace. Uh, rest after in fuck, peace. After... After uh, and then at the and then you'll see it if you guys should just watch it. Oh, do they talk about Mamba on that, dude? You know what? It, it gave me Coach Carter vibes. <sighs> Coach Carter. Coach fucking Carter vibes. Coach Carter is great. I love everything about Coach Carter. Sam is Samuel the same person in every movie? Yes or no? Um, I think he is. Yeah, I would love to see him just play a pussy bitch. What the fuck, motherfucker? Is that bad, bad dribble the fucking ball? I would love to just see him have what something different for once, like a different pitch and voice i always forget that he's in goodfellas yeah he is yeah you know, he's like their he's Aaron, a, Aaron boy or whatever the Aaron guy no he's uh uh stacks yeah but he's like the Aaron boy isn't he he's a driver no 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 no. that's yeah he's a driver michael imperioli's a spider he's he's their Aaron boy who uh yeah he gets shot in his fucking foot and he fucking blasts him yeah. off fuck you tommy great movie a amazing spider. whole family's full of rats amazing movie um yeah, so uh, I want to get into uh, something that the uh, fucking patrons asked today. Oh, yeah, let's get into the patron stuff. By the way, guys, uh, if you guys want to become patrons, we now have a Discord. Yes. And for the people not knowing what that is, that's what we're basically going to use for you guys to call in if you guys want to call in during the show. Uh, the Discord is just a little community. Like, basically, you guys will all be the little Low Priori podcast community that you are just chilling in there. It's a chat room. We'll have different, like, you know, hashtags up in different rooms. Uh, if you guys ever want to, like, you know, share stuff about your life, obviously, you know, don't put your dicks in there because you will be immediately banned. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Don't put your penis yeah, in don't there. Be, don't be a dick. What else? Uh, don't be a dick. No hate speech. You know, we're just trying to have a community where we could all fucking hang out and have a good time. Yes, we want you guys to be a part of this. So, like, we want to be able to have you guys call in we want to be able to do calls with you guys with more than a few people in the in the future you know what i'm saying but it's only patreon accepted so like we know that you guys are real about being in it like i I, again it's it's just even i think are you doing even if it's it's first tier doesn't matter yeah every tier every Every tier tier can come into the discord right five all the way up way up to 50 yes and we want you guys to be a part of this shit man we want you guys to be a part of this whole beginning listen we're on our seventh episode yeah uh, we haven't even been doing the show two months. We haven't even been starting. We have so many ideas that we want to bring to you guys and fucking ridiculous shit. So anyway, besides that. Besides that, also, let's get into... Uh, Motherfuckers. The lovely... Pussies. Uh, sponsor of the show. Uh, today's oh, sponsor... No, it's all good. Today's sponsor is Blue Chew. All right? Uh, Blue Chew has been a proud Ooh. sponsor of us uh, a couple of times. And uh, let's listen, Blue Chew is where it's at. Okay? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Okay, Blue Sounds Chew. Good to me. Yeah, right. Who doesn't want a longer and harder wiener? <laughs> it's just facts. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form. And at a fraction of the cost. Yeah, that's right. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED, which is short for erectile dysfunction. 
Blue Chew is an ongoing prescription service, so no visits to the doctor, no awkward convos, no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package, okay? The process is simple, all right? Go uh, sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, baby. It's all done online, all right? So Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription to help you get that boner, all right? Don't like swallowing pills? I don't either. No problems here. Blue Chew's uh, Sidenafil and Tadalafil. I always say that wrong, so I don't want to say it wrong anymore. Tadalafil uh, tablets are chewable. That's right. They're chewable. They're chewable. They're chewable. Chewable is kind of a tough word to say sometimes. Chewable. Chew, ch- they're chewable. Hey, man, you had to say to Dadafil. Sindenafil, Tadalafil. <laughs> tablets are chewable. <laughs> it's like the King's Speech. Uh, blue tablets are made in the U.S. of A, okay? And they prepare, uh, they prepare and ship direct, so it's cheaper than a pharmacy, all right? So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com, okay? And use the promo code LOPS, okay? And we got a special deal, obviously. Uh, try blue. What was that? A horn? Uh, blue Chew free. When Somebody you use ready a- for Blue Chew. Yeah, someone trying to get that Blue Chew promo code. All right, <laughs> so go to bluechew.com uh, and use the promo code LOPS, L O P S, to receive, uh, receive your first month free. Okay? Go to bluechew.com and use the promo code LOPS, L O P S. To receive your first month free. Bluetooth.com. Bluetooth.com. That's B L U E C H E W dot com. Promo code LOPS, L O P S. Okay. And we want to thank Bluetooth and all the Sedenafil and all the Tadalafil uh, tablets that they get out to everybody and making them chewable. Remember, Bluetooth.com. Promo code. Yay, yay. LOPS. Okay. Um, back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show. Back to the show um, at hand. Uh, Mr. Michael, uh, last episode, you've kind of, you know, you've, you have OCD. You, th- you feel that you're obsessed with to say the, To say the least. To, yes. say, to say the least. I literally, right? I literally today had to turn uh, um, a spray cleaner or the right way with the other nozzles because it was turning the other way and, I, and it pissed me off. Now, a lot of people have that to a small extent. But my other OCD is like I have to do certain ticks or certain things or like I'll like it. I just don't feel comfortable. My feel brain you. feels I feel weird. You. All right. So me being me. It's a little weird. It's okay me, though. Me being the genius that I am, uh, I decided to pull up a uh, obsessive compulsive disorder screening quiz. That's why whenever Danny says he's a genius, I just call him Danny West. Yeah, that's it. That's it's, it. It's, it's, so it's Danny's alter ego. That is my alter ego. Danny West for sure. Um, but yeah. Obsessive compulsive disorder screening quiz. You down? Oh, it's a quiz. It's a quiz. So I'm going to read you some questions. Let's fucking do it. Let me take a sip of my motherfucking old E. Cuz I. All right. Have you been bothered by unpleasant thoughts or yes. Im- or images that repeatedly enter your mind, such as concerns with contamination, dirt, germs, chemicals, radiation, or acquiring a serious illness such as a- AIDS? Radiation. Uh, I have a weird ass obsessive weird fear that I'm going to get carbon dioxide poisoning so i have a fucking thing up there on the fridge <laughs> all right so does that, that fit that <laughs> yeah that's a okay guess. i have that all right uh over concern with keeping objects clothing groceries tools in perfect order or arranged exactly uh they don't have to be arranged exactly but i do you know what yes i have moments where it needs to be like all the, all the shoes on my shoe rack have to be facing the, the right way okay but the, the same way okay yes um, Images of death. This is making me hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I'm ready. No, 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 no. Um, images of death or other horrible events. Do they bother you? Uh, no, not really. Like you could look at like a picture of a dead guy and it's not like, going to like, you know, I mean, I'd rather not, but yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go out of my way to not see a dead. Man yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I can, I can deal with that. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's go. No. <laughs> Uh, personally unacceptable religious or sexual thoughts. Yeah. Uh, every day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Personally unacceptable religious or sexual thoughts. Why do they have to throw religious and sexual together? Wait, say it one more time. Personally yes. unacceptable 
religious or sexual thoughts? Do you think you have unacceptable unacceptable sexual thoughts? Yeah, I, what's with the religious thing? Yesterday, I literally did an EDM song called Jesus Isn't Real. <laughs> and it was like, Jesus isn't real. Jesus isn't real. It doesn't piss you off. Are you feeling triggered? Because Jesus isn't real. And Jesus is not real. I'm sorry, did I upset your savior? Jesus isn't real. Jesus isn't real. I'm sorry, did I upset your savior? Jesus isn't real. <laughs> It was like something like that. So is that unacceptable? I guess. Okay. I love Jesus. Uh, oh, unacceptable sexual thoughts though. I I'm mean, I'm going to say no. I mean, what's one. unacceptable? Like, like bad stuff. Like, like touchy stuff. Like being a toucher yeah, without yeah, permission. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, I, I think never. Has to do with no permission. Fuck! I said yes. I didn't no, hear no, the no. fucking question no, before. No, no, Everyone's going right. to think I'm a toucher. It's, it's part Guys, of I'm not a toucher. Have you worried a lot about terrible things happening, such as fire, burglary, or flooding the house? Yes. Yes. All, literally all the time. I think all I'm right. going to die. Accidentally hitting a pedestrian with your car or letting your car roll down a hill? Have you ever worried about that? Yes. The hill part. Yeah. What the fuck? Damn, dude. Fuck. Um, so God, have no you one's going to date me. Uh, have you ever worried about spreading an illness, such as giving the flu? Nothing with your ween ween. Uh, no. No. No, I Even don't think about corona. that one. No. No. No, maybe to my parents, like, because uh, that could, but that's, that was, that was like, in, that was like influenced okay. feeling. All right. Uh, losing something valuable. Yeah, these are like everybody, I feel. Um, yes, I, yes, I don't ever want, yeah, I do think about that a lot. No, but it's like a fear. Like, are you fucking, like, yes. fucking scared? Yes. All right, cool. Yes. That's dope. Uh, <laughs> harm coming to a loved one because you weren't careful enough. What? Yeah. Like stuff. I guess that's like a karma based question. That's karma ish. I just don't know if this means all the time or like if I'm just driving a car. Do, do you? I get scared and think I'm going to kill someone by accident in a car when they're with me sometimes. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> it's a heavy responsibility. <laughs> I said that like a scientist. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Continue. Have you worried about. What are you writing down? What is that? <laughs> okay. Nice. Nothing. Oh, I'm taking notes on you. Uh, have you worried about acting on an unwanted and senseless urge or impulse, such as physically harming a loved one? Uh, Not today. Yeah. Pushing a stranger in front of a bus, steering your car into oncoming traffic, inappropriate. I have contact. thought about that before. Yes, but or, or, never have. I've here. here. Then it says poisoning dinner guest. <laughs> what that's next level There's something in my soup no but like one time i was sleeping with my ex and i wasn't even mad at her and i was like i could just bash her skull in <laughs> <laughs> but like obviously i'm not gonna do it we talked about intrusive thoughts no I've but had i've them. had them a, like a lot but not to the point where i would ever do it right right Dude, but you I thought about it I <laughs> <laughs> yes i have <laughs> I have that's guilty as charged. I ain't do. going to jail though. Cause uh, have you felt driven to perform certain acts over and over again, such as excessive or ritualized washing, cleaning, and or grooming? Um, mm, no, not none like, of those you know how, like, actions. Uncle Dominic just like washes yes. his hands like fifty yes. times. Yes, and Caitlin used to do it. Yeah. Not, not like that, but like I have my ticks, and I feel like that's my obsession. Okay, so I'm gonna say no. I don't think you have a ritualized washing, cleaning. Or no, cleaning. there's no weird shit like that. No, jerking it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, ritualized as fuck. That's OCD. I've had it my entire life. I'm gonna need some Blue Chew. To yeah. be honest, I'm yeah. wearing my dick out. BlueChew.com promo code. BlueChew.com. Um, checking light switches, water faucets, the stove, door locks, and, or emergency brakes. Um, checking, yes. Doing like one, two, three, four, five stuff. No. All right. So checking, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. You used very, to hide, you used to hide very precarious, like precarious things. Yes. Uh, counting. Arranging used to hide knives, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, counting, arranging, uh, even uh, evening up behaviors, making sure socks are at the same height. Yes, I have done that before. Damn, dog, you fucking OC Dizzle. Right, but okay. but it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable if it's not. Though. Okay, okay. But right. I do very much get satisfied from seeing it. Yeah, I don't fuck my socks, by the way, guys. Oh, that was weird. Awesome, awesome. You're doing great. Thanks. Uh, collecting useless objects or inspecting the garbage before it is thrown out. Uh, absolutely fucking not. Yeah, that's like yeah, monk yeah. level. Yeah, I feel like that's a that's like a little a, that's yeah. a little bit more intense. Repeating routine actions in and out of a chair, going through a doorway, relighting a cigarette a certain amount of times until it feels just right. Nope, don't do that stuff. Okay, need to touch objects or people. <laughs> uh, like, do you have the need to just be like? I need to like touch this or like 
go like this or touch your leg or shake your leg or whatever? No, no need to no need to touch anything no. like that. No. Unnecessary rereading or rewriting or reopening of envelopes before they are mailed. What the fuck? No, but that sounds so tedious and terrible. Damn, you got four straight no's. I don't think you're Osid Das. All right, here we go. Examining your body for signs of illness. Yes, let's remark that one. Yep. Off. Both of us. Uh, avoid- <laughs> both of us. Dan- Danny just knows we're both hypochondriacs. Oh, my God. Worrisome boys. Oh, God. Uh, I can't even kiss anybody without being like, shit, I'm sick. Oh, my God, I'm dying now. Avoiding colors. Red means blood. Numbers 13 is unlucky or names that start with D. What the fuck? Damn, son. Get out of my house, piece of shit. I signify death. Th- that are associated <laughs> with dreaded events or unpleasant thoughts. No, absolutely not. That's, that's wild. Uh, needless, needing to confess or repeatedly asking for reassurance that you said or did something correctly. Nah, because I always think I'm right, so no. Collectly. Collectly. If I heard you collectly. All right, get results. Give it to me. Uh, Give it to me, Samson. You're at ri- you're at risk. OCD is probable slash at risk. Okay. Yeah, I'm a border. I'm a borderline OC daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So based upon uh, border border OD. Based upon your screening measure, it is probable that you are suffering from an obsessive compulsive. Damn, disorder. I had to throw suffering in there. Though. Yeah, you're fucked. You can view symptoms and treatment options for the disorder. No. This is not a diagnosis or a recommendation for treatment. However, it would be advisable and likely beneficial for you to seek professional diagnosis. They want you to go see a doctor, you weirdo. 21. 21, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I think 21 Savage has OCD, to be oh, honest. Oh, yeah, for sure. Guy can't stop saying it. But, like, people, like, get on him for, like, like rapping, like, really, like, similar, like, uh, simply. simply. Is that a word? Simply. Yeah. yeah, but meanwhile, that's how old I'm rap not started. As serious as yours. I'm not as serious as yours. Simply. Uh, old rappers sounded like that, too, though. Old rappers were Old rappers simple. were f- simply shit yeah. and, and incredibly nice. Yeah, they overly no, nice. but not like lyrically. They were like nice people. Yeah, but yeah, like, they were rapping about hard shit, but it sounded way too cute though. Yeah, 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 it did. It did. It did. Hold up one second. Let me put something on here cuz this is Right? This is how they sounded. Oh yeah, what's up? Oh god. Oh, you got a fucking old school beat on this yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. What is this? Uh-huh. Oh, is this uh Let's Broke go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, just walking down the street, just hanging with the friends. Here come the cops. Oh, no, not again. Now we got to run straight down the block, and we don't give a fuck if we're going to get shot. Sorry that I said a couple bad words, but people want to fly out the word to the birds. Everybody knows from the hood to the burbs, police aren't the nicest guys. Little Tammy wants to go outside, and that's whack, because she knows she's going to smoke on a piece of crap. And that's how it is, that's how it was I just made love to my cuz But it's cool, yo And it's good, yo And we're fresh, yo Chest of death, yo Hey, yo. Come <laughs> no, but it was on. like It was like fucked up shit They were, yeah. they were robbing about real sitting shit Sitting outside, just sitting on the porch <laughs> Everybody's lighting up crack yeah. with a torch And I was like, damn, I don't want to see that So I just went in the crib and took a nap Then I came outside and came down the stairs Looked on the floor, crack rocks everywhere And I don't care what you're saying to me I I don't really give a shit about no punk police, but I'm chilling. Walking down the block with friends. Everybody knows how this story ends. One of us got the shooting, one of us got the stabbing. And everybody's laughing, and everybody's dabbing. Running their gums about last night. Everybody just chilling with a crack pipe. It ain't hard for me, it ain't hard to see. But everybody on the block knows I'm Danny. I'm the real MC, and I spell my name D A N N Y. That's the game. Everybody wanna talk, everybody wanna play. But everybody get out. My flipping way Cause I'm the realest on the mic Realest on the shit And I just rode a bike And I just fucked your bitch And everybody knows <laughs> okay. that That's sick. when everyone's like Whoa whoa bro You can't say that It's the 80s You can't say that It's the 80s man I'm sorry It's the uh, fucking 80s Suck it and suck it Suck it and huff it And on the street He was huffing crack <laughs> We're not laughing at crackheads, no, by the way, guys. The crack epidemic was a terrible thing. We're not laughing also, at crack. Also, the CIA's crack. fault. But, uh... 
<laughs> not laughing at crack. Come on, everybody. And let's See, do I it like that. <laughs> Come on, I'm blashing and I'm splashing and blashing. The police coming around and start giving us a slashing. <laughs> it's just like, dude, everything was so nice. Now it's like, <laughs> and now the real shit is like, cop comes through and fucking stab you in your face. <laughs> or uh, fucking beat you with a fucking goddamn. Feet. Like, everything's cursing a lot. It's a lot of fucking. Sitting outside just hanging with my mom <laughs> and asking if we gonna get it on with the gang down the street. We're rumbling and tussling. Everybody knows. Big boys, yeah, we're muscling. I just had to walk down the street with my vest. Came down. I don't even understand my stress. Oh, my God. The police came and said, turn the music down. Suck my ass. I don't really want to say what I want to say because it's 1984 today. So we don't really curse when we're on the mic because cursing on rap is just so not right. True. We just want to chill, take care of our kids. No I don't cursing. really understand going to bed. If somebody did something wrong in the hood, they should go to jail because they have to know good. There's this and one guy who's just like, and then the one dude who just wants to keep it real, he's like, stab a motherfucker right in his eye. And it took at me twice. I'll put him down, guy, because I ain't fucking playing. I'll stab your dad and I'll stab your mom. The Bronx looks like someone defused a bomb, infused, and exploded everywhere. Check out that chick. She's losing her hair from doing drugs, drugs, drugs all over the place. What's up? How you doing? Get out my fucking face because I'll fucking kill every single last one of y'all. <laughs> Yo, guy, chill, guy yo, chill. Like, it's yeah, the 80s, uh, bro. We had to kick that guy out of the group because he was a little intense. <laughs> Grandmaster Killer. They're like, no one's ever heard anything like that. That's a intense as fuck. A sip a supper. 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 The segment went a little too long. A sip a supper. But it's still fun. And it's our show. A sip a supper. We don't care how long it goes. A sip a supper. A sip a supper. A sip a supper. <laughs> the Huffa Huffas are a shiver back in the day. Yeah, those guys were great. Dude, you should have been. You were God. You'd been such a great old school rapper, bro. Dude, that if was I was great. alive in 1980, I'd be a multi platinum selling artist. Because it's 1984 today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it was. Rappers were way fucking nicer back then. Oh, God. I love how you just had old school fucking rap fucking ready to go with that. That was so good. This fucking machine is the best, dude. You just fucking drag shit. And Shots of road. Like, Making casters yeah, for road. streamers, S- dude. Send us some fucking free shit. Yeah, too, we talk know? about you guys all the time, road. We Come talk on. about you guys all the time. You guys we need at least shit. three more of these, road. Yeah, I need someone hit up road. Let them know. Two more of these. And uh, I need like <laughs> like how we're, we're demanding like we're gonna get it yeah like they're a fucking sponsor of the show they're gonna be like bro we deal with celebrities every day you guys are internet schlubs yeah but you want to know something I feel like we're more important sometimes than in celebrities because celebrities don't have any correspondence with their audience they don't interact they don't interact and even with when their they audience. do it and even when they do it's fucking half ass shit. It's like, what's up, man? Fuck you. Don't care about you. And then they just go and do their own thing. We're like, we don't care about you, but we're willing to like maybe respond to like a message or two. Yeah. yeah it's cool. No, I, I try to respond to as many messages as I can, but like sometimes it's hard. I know? respond to a lot because I am a bored fucking bitch. That's why. That's the only reason I'll do that. But I try to respond to as many people as I can. Yeah, in I mean, the DMs. It's, it's, so if you guys are trying to hit me up, don't give up if I haven't hit you back yet. Don't yeah. give up. All right, guys? Or join the fucking Patreon. Join the Discord where I'm actually active uh, right now. Yes. Um, and we will answer back on the Discord, and we will be in that Discord doing that thing. Should we prank phone call a fan? Do we have a Patreon set up for it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to do it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay, but, okay, but we can't give ourselves out the way that we did last time. You got to change your voice. Um, you want to take this one? Yeah, let me try it. All right, let me try this. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. This is uh, our patron Tito Melendez. Shout out to Tito Melendez too. Bought a bunch of Selena's clouds. Woo! So Tito out, Melendez. Shout, yeah, yeah. Shout out Tito Melendez. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call him. I'm gonna block my number. Hopefully, he answers because people know that we record today. Yes. So let's go ahead and call Tito Melendez. Right, I two, don't want to say the number out loud like I did last time. Yeah, we're not going to say it out loud. No, and I left it in the episode like an idiot. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's all right. Oh, yeah. Jesus. No, no, no. He's not suing. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's just make sure this is on and we can hear the ringing. You want to take it? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's going. I'll see if he answers. The international call you are attempting to place is not allowed from this line. Please dial Damn, dude, uh, where the hell is this? Where the fuck does this guy live? Yeah, Tito Melendez. Is he fucking in Colombia, sitting in a fucking tunnel somewhere? Tito Melendez? I think he's Canadian. Oh, um, Tito. 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 Maybe it's because he's Canadian. 
No, I, I just yeah, I think that's what it is. I saw somebody uh, Bethany Sykes on Patreon. I thought it was one of the Sykes sisters from from oh, from back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Didn't their dad try to come to the house and kill you once? Yeah, he was like, don't ever make fun of my daughter again on the bus. And, his, and their dad was huge, so I was like, listen, curly-headed guy. Yeah, he was a big curly-headed dude. I had no idea. I couldn't tell what race He didn't were. threaten me. He was just like, yeah, don't make fun of my fucking daughter, which I feel him on. You know what I mean? If, if, so if my little girl came home sad because someone picked on her, I'd fucking go home and eat that kid's face off. So. Bro, he came to the house. Yeah, he, came, he was a big guy. Well, they lived right down the block. We lived down the block from them at that time. Because remember, we were across the bridge at one point. Remember that fucking yeah, place? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we right. played that fucking Seaman game. Yeah, Seaman? yes, on, on Dreamcast. Dreamcast. And you had to like feed a fish. Every day I came home, I wanted to feed that fucking fish. Yeah, and uh, that fish was a dickhead. But yes, I do remember that. I was, we had like a fight on the bus, and I probably roasted her or said something, and then her dad like came over and was like, uh, you know, your son's a little bitch. <laughs> He but was I, tight. He, I, I was in the shower getting ready for school, yeah, and he, he was, was like, "No, nah, you're not going to school today, bro." Yeah, he checked you in the morning. All right, this is this is Tommy. Sorry, Tito, you're Canadian, um, but uh, this is Tommy. Tommy, uh, I'm gonna call him, and then Mike, you take it, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Crazy. Hey, it's Tommy. Just leave me a message and I'll call you back. To disconnect, press 1. If you still want to leave a message for this person, press 3 or simply stay on the line. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Is the kid got a shit? I just want to go this way. I don't know. My ass. In my ass. I'm trying. Put it in my ass now. I'm trying. I'm trying. Mm. Uh. In my ass, I said. Uh. Oh, in my ass. Okay, okay, okay. Your ass. What are you doing? I'm trying to get in your butt. In my ass. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, now put it. Yeah. Put it. Put it in my knees. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm saying. Okay. Uh, my knee can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Straighten your leg out so it can move around. Oh. Oh, yeah. I need, I need as much mobility. Okay, I'll try it out. Oh, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. Oh, Tommy, give it to me. <laughs> Thomas! You, Tommy! Oh. Oh. Yes. Shit. Oh, man. Whoa. Hey, Tommy, this is uh, Danny and Michael. You didn't pick up the phone, um, but. Uh, we don't bang each other, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that we, yeah. We but, didn't mean to call you. But thank you so much for being a patron. Um, we actually know, do bang each other. Yeah, we do. And we have a long history of that. But uh, thank you so much, man. I hope <laughs> you get this message. The message finds you and you listen to the whole thing and think it's real until you get to the end. Love you, buddy. Peace. You know, listen. Patrons, listen. I always say you got to pick up the phone. You got to pick up the and phone. And you know what, yo? I don't know. I, ho I ho God, I hope Tommy is 18 plus. I'm pretty sure he is. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's if you're a pa you, Yeah, if you're a Patreon or whatever here... And even if you are younger and you watch our podcast, it's your fucking parents' fault. Yeah. Sorry to tell you. Yes. Yes. Do you think, do you think like music and shit has an influence? God bless you, Tommy, by yeah, the way. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Shout out, Tommy, aka Nudes to my dad on uh, Patreon. Oh, I know Nudes. He's he's good. He's yeah. good to go. Yeah. <laughs> I know all these people already. They're going to know what I sound like. Yeah, but that's, that's the point. That's Every, well, they all do, obviously. Yeah. I mean, they listen to the show, I would hope. I would hope. Uh, did you ever... <laughs> That was fucking great. Did you ever like get influenced by music though? Like, did music ever make you like want to like smoke weed? No, I just wanted to smoke weed because I was suffering <laughs> as a kid. Did My Tourette's was so bad at the oh, time. Oh, so it alleviated it. Yeah, and like a lot of people were telling me, like, you know, it'll help with like your depression and shit or, or not even depression you're like your hyperactivity and blah oh. blah and like i just like did research kind of first with with what i could because you didn't have fucking apple phones back at that time um also weed was like super illegal still yeah and the first time i smoked it bro i'll never forget i was talking to my friend danny david and he t and he literally in my mind turned into a fucking oompa loompa i saw him in like the suspenders and shit and that curly ass hair and then all of a sudden Everything just went black, and all I saw was just his face talking. And I was just like, 
and he was in the middle of something. He was like, you know, we just like, you know, I was like, yo, I'm fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> While he was in the middle of talking to me, and I got up and I started like spinning, like you know how fucking Jennifer Love Hewitt and fucking I know you did last what summer. What are you waiting for? Yeah, she like looks up and spins. I was doing that. I was like, I feel fucking amazing. And he's like, dude, you smoked the shittiest weed ever. And I'm like, I still feel so great. <laughs> And I think someone pissed on the weed that we smoked too. No. Yeah, I think so. Someone pissed on it. Really? That, yeah, that's what like they told me like a year later. They were like, "Yo, someone pissed on that weed." I was like, "Why did you smoke it then?" That's not. Like, cool. That's not cool, bro. <sighs> I think it helped. I got fucking high as shit, dude. If I found out somebody pissed on the weed that I smoked, even years down the road, I'd be piss fucking weed. piss weed. Nah, it was kind of fire. It was actually it was the best high of my life, to be honest. God, that sounds so crackish. That you smoked pee. Yeah, and it was the best high I've ever had. That urine fucking dust just got me going. <laughs> that urine fucking crusted up fucking weed in the air just got me going. Oh my god, dude! I was uh, urine high. Do you? Th- oh yeah, it's like when they cheese in South Park. Oh god, yeah, when cheese get- when the cats cheese. Apparently, that's true though. That you can get high off of cat ch- yeah, piss like, yeah, or spray. Like, no, like they're defensive, like like they're they're fucking like piss mist. What it just has like mo- molecule like uh, fucking uh, chemicals in it that makes you go fucking crazy crazy. Yeah, apparently that's what it is. That's that's like uh, it can get you high. All right, here's the it's thing. Like, it's like Before, a mild hallucinogenic. We, we were talking about the women actually methane blasting from their fenouches. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had thoughts. a few girls say that you were out of your mind, and that's not true. And then I had a bunch of women saying that it's that it is true. Yeah. Every I think it's just certain people's bodies are a condition. No, there was way more girls telling me that they that I was exactly right. Right. Okay. And they're like like boys should have know this about us. One of my my friend Alex was watching and she was like, Tell him he's bugging. And I was like, I don't know. I had other people tell me that it's real. Multiple ladies said that they (laughs) fart into their vagina. Usually the sentence multiple ladies ends very badly. Yes. (laughs) yes. Multiple ladies have sucked their own fart through their vagina. Yes. Uh, Well, I love that topic. Listen, it's the statistics speak for itself. I had maybe two girls say this isn't true, and then maybe like thirty being like, "Oh my god, I can't believe they're talking." Oh my about god, this. I methane for it. And I, I, yeah, I, I pooch. I methane poot. Anyway, shot. How about this for anybody who can prove that? <laughs> we'll, we'll give you full free Patreon. Free for Patreon a month. for a month. No, you kidding. know what I'm gonna do? Don't prove that. We don't want to see it. You know what I'm gonna do? What, you know what you I'm gonna, gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm going to randomly select. Uh, the winner of the fifty dollar Amazon gift card right now. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm I'm looking, oh! I'm looking up. I'm looking up. That's I'm good. Sorry up, about that, guys. I'm looking up. I'm looking up. <laughs> and whoever I land on is gonna win a fifty dollar Amazon gift card. And Sipping on that old A J. You know me. I just live my life straight out free. Oh my god. Doing what I can on a killing spree with these words, babe. <laughs> uh, the winner. Let's, uh, should we do a drum roll? Let's put a drum roll. Yeah, let's in do here. it. Let's do a drum roll. Let's do it. I, I was gonna do. I was gonna do it with my hands. No, 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 no. no. He, those hands are fucking precious. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're you're a fragile boy. I, I, I don't want those fucking fingers getting all. Beat yeah, up. You're right. I'm not gonna do that. No, you don't need that. You don't need to do that. You, you, you you're they passionate. call me Mister Glass. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner, winner is of the first ever uh, motherfucking. Uh, Amazon <laughs> gift card giveaway. <laughs> Bethany Sykes. Yeah. What? Yeah. It actually? Oh, it's yeah. Beth- <laughs> Bethany. Got it. <laughs> Bethany got it. Bethany got it. I just scrolled and went up and then landed on we one. We just whoever. talked about you guys. We just talked about her. We don't know who the fuck this woman is. I don't know who the fuck Bethany Sykes is. We don't know who the fuck she is. Bethany, I'm going to go ahead and email you and uh, we're going to go, go ahead and Beth. get you a fucking. Go uh, Beth. Go Beth, go Beth, go Beth, go Beth, go Beth. I want to do a go. I want to go. I want to do a go Patreon challenge where they whatever, and we have to say their name, and they have to have us recorded after the podcast and send it in, and then we play them dancing to go to go whatever afterward. It's like they're in a fucking dance circle, but they have to dance. Oh yeah, that'd and be cool. We, and we'll show it on the clip, and then we'll have us going go you, go you, or whoever it is, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But you guys have to kill it. You actually have to dance. Yeah, if you uh, no no way because if you shit. don't, you're real a dance moves. pussy. Real dance moves all over the fucking dance. Yeah, room. and just like don't be a pussy though. Just dance. Damn, dude. Uh, also, we are at um. <laughs> <laughs> damn, brother. Uh, damn, we are brother. at right now 176 damn, patrons. 
Twenty four more, I will dress up. Yes, like Ursula from guys, the listen to me. Do you people fucking understand what's going to happen? At two hundred subs, Patreon subs, this man will dress up like Ursula. Um, we literally like. I, I guess you don't want a purple. Pa- we'll figure. Listen, it's going to be amazing. All right, he, this guy's going to dress up like Ursula, and then we'll do other stuff. I'm going to get the next one after that. But at two hundred subs, Danny has to do a full one hour and whatever podcast at well, least. What, what do you have to do at three hundred? If I had to dress up like Ursula, you have to dress up like something. But you dress uh, up like something every day on Twitch. Yeah. So let's um let's um what what could make me on what, what could make me uncomfortable? Does dressing up as Ursula make you uncomfortable? I think you're gonna no, be fucking no, ravishing. I, no, but it, that's like more like you know you be you be very good, but. Or no, I, fit, no. I fit the body type of Ursula. Ursula's a thick bitch, dude. She's and she's hot. And Hell I guarantee yeah. you that Ursula's one of those gua- like. <laughs> she's a guacker. Oh, Nine thousand, a oh, thousand percent, dude. She can live underwater. You know how much she can swallow. All right, here's the deal. At three hundred fucking at three hundred subs, I should, I should maybe put like maybe like clothespins on my nipples for the whole thing or is that no that's not i'll get used to that what do you think you come up with something at 300 so how about you guys come up with ideas in the comments below what me and danny should do at 300 or what i should do at 300 subs or 250 all right that's a good idea i think i think ah fuck i hit my tooth i think if you go back in here that's just clunk at 300 subs, you guys fucking choose. All right? Fuck, yo. Why I got to come up with everything, cuz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that fucking noise was disgusting, son. <laughs> <laughs> My mic's going to be so loud, yo. God. Uh, guys, I'm only doing this mic today because we just thought, oh. I thought it was funny to just grip on a dick like object. Oh, my God. Oh, do it here. Oh my god, that was disgusting. It's so funny at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys come up it's what you think is funny because it's true. No, you should like shave your beard. The whole thing. Yeah, you should shave your beard. I fucked up. Uh, I, I fucked up. At three hundred, sh- shave your whole beard down to the. Yeah. Uh, okay, if that's what people want, but I want people to come up with ideas too. Maybe we could do. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. They can come. They can come out, and then we can vote on it. Because this is a okay, community yeah. thing now. I don't know if you guys know, but everybody that's watching us, the rider dies. You're part of the fucking LPE now. You know what I'm saying? L P D L the L P D P the L P. Low pod or one P. The one P. All right, I have a series of questions for you. Um, Hit me with a don't stop. It was uh, by the time this comes out, uh, it will be your birthday. Oh, my birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, yeah it is. birthday. Shout fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm a Pisces. I cry for no reason. I'll say I'm very sensitive. I like creating art, and I will use any of the personal ammo you give me against you when you piss me off. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> can we talk about how old you going to be? knows firsthand. Yeah, 100. percent I'm going to uh, be 34. You're going to be 34. I feel like you asked me these questions just to no, make no, no, me no, no, hate no. myself. No, 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 no. Do you feel old? Uh, sh- weird shit is starting to happen. Um, like, like fucking, you, you tore something in your foot getting off the couch. Getting off the couch, literally, fucking, f- just I don't know. I tore something in my heel, and um, getting literally going. And I was I was playing a video game. I just did some ill shit. I'm like, God, I'm nice. And I got up, and as soon as I got up, I was like, ah, 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 and I fucking laid down, and I just held my foot up like this. I was like, huh, like, uh, mad dramatic. Damn, you're flexible, cuz. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, I don't know what the fuck I did, but it's not getting better. Now I'm wearing a plantar fasciitis fucking ankle <laughs> uh, compression sock to fucking deal with the pain. Uh, but I can't do, like, certain things now. That, um... I don't know, bro. I just feel like my body is like j- definitely things are getting older, but my energy is still off the charts. I don't yeah. know how. Dude, you're not old. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Like, no, I know. 34 is not that old. Do you feel like your body's breaking down a little bit? Yes. I do too. I feel like I'm dying. I do. I, no, I don't feel like, yeah. Bro, we're going to be fucked at 40. Dude, you're halfway to 68. This is when you got to start. See, this is the problem with us humans. You've been alive for 30 years. How's this work? I know, man. No electricity. Thought, no joke. No joke. I thought I was going to die at like 25. Yeah, I always had a, a sense that I would die early, like in my OCD. early 20s. We're both OCD. Maybe that's an yeah. OCD thing. Yeah, it could be. I'm I surprised one of the questions was, do you think you might die before 30? 
Yeah, no, I've outlived I've outlived what I had for myself. I thought I was I literally thought I would be dead by like 22 23. Yeah, but now I'm getting confident cuz I'm in 34 and watch me die when I'm 38. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chill, Danny's chill, like, yeah, chill. Chill. <laughs> nah, nah. No, no, But you know no. what I mean? It's real it's true cuz it's like now I'm getting happy with life. Like now yeah. I'm at this point where I'm like I'm 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 leveled. You know, I'm not 24 and crazy and doing drugs and like fucking flipping out or driving around with people who are irresponsible. Now everything's like, do you have your seatbelt on? Do you have your seatbelt yeah. on? Do you, miss, so, do you miss that part of yourself sometimes? Like I miss like being wild miss, and crazy. I do miss being reckless because I was young and I can get away with so much shit. Like I miss being able to get hammered and wake up and ready to just fuck the day so hard. Yeah. And I can't do that now. Now I need to like suck today's dick. Suck today's dick. No, but I need to literally now if I get hammered. I have to my if there's a routine it's get up put water on my face breathe mad slowly make sure my heart's not going to explode mm -hmm. lay down and just have the fan on me and sometimes I'll literally just be like oh, with the fan to get some sort of like meditation a mantra peace. a mantra you have a mantra because I can't do it anymore the anxiety from drinking is just like ridiculous do you think you'll ever quit drinking Yes, I will because I've already did it and I can prove that I can be better without it. The reason why I think I do it even now at this point is usually a social a social thing. But the problem with that is when you keep doing it in a social thing, then you think you need to do it when someone's always around you. So like I'll have the beer right, now right. because you're here. Right. But I don't need to do that. I'm not even tipsy right now. Like I don't even need this. Do you think it like takes like an edge off? I think I think it, it does. does. It's just an sure. it's an edge off, but like do I really need the edge off? I stay home all day. How hard is my life? <laughs> I, I, I'm taking like an eternal edge if that's the fucking case. So I think pandemic stress, though, is a real fucking thing, though. Oh, man, it is. It is. We were, we were talking about it, dude. We fucking when, when uh, it Corona is. first happened. Fucking fucking frightening as fuck. People don't understand how scary it was to be in New York. Like, I know, like, there's other places, obviously, that have been, like, crushed. Okay, but, but you were in the fucking heart of the Corona beast. Yeah, dude. You were, I was in, the, in, you were in the epicenter of it. I was in the epicenter of it, and I was afraid to leave my house. I didn't go out. And I you were sick. And I, and I got sick. I came back from Austin, Texas, and was sick for three days. I didn't want you near me either. I was like the worst brother either. I was like, stay the fuck over there, G. Like, a part of me does... A part of me wants to know if I've had Corona yet, because I, I feel like I have. Some people have and didn't know it. Yeah. That's the scariest part about... Coronies. Well, I've had a false positive test. Uh, I've had did? a yeah, I've had a false positive. How the fuck do you know that? Because they sent me a uh, a rapid. The rapid came back positive, but the PCR came back negative. And the PCR is more reliable than the Got rapid. Got it. Okay. But they still asked me to quarantine for fourteen days. Are you going to get a vaccine? Yes, you are getting a vaccine, yes. right? Yes. Uh, Where um, so are you nervous about it? Um, are you fucking shitting your ass? No, I'm not because the, you know what I'm shitting my ass about, dude. I'm asthmatic and diabetic. If I if I got COVID, if I haven't had it yet, if I do get it, I'm just an extremely dude. I'm overweight too. I'm uh, dude. I'm an extremely high case of just checking out from that shit. How annoying are people that are like, well, fix that thing about yourself? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Do like, you have friends the, like that? Yeah, the hardest thing is like, dude, I quit drinking, I quit drugs, and then I lost weight, and then I gained back weight. It's like, dude, if I could just be skinny tomorrow, I would do it. Yeah. It's not that fucking easy. Yeah, it's not. It's like breaking habits. Like you Because life like, starts off, you're having a party, and then you're like doing shit to take the edge off. Yeah. As you say, and then you're just like kind of stuck in it. So you already have to fucking live life. And deal with your emotions sober. It's a scary thing to fucking do. It's hard to do. I you know want, I mean? I, I, yeah, I one hundred percent overcompensate. Like, and I, I, I self medicate with food. Oh, when, do you? Yes, when I'm stressed out, when I'm tired, uh, when I'm fucking bored. Yeah, but I, did, I but, just, but what makes you feel good about eating a shit ton of food? Don't you feel like shit after? No, because I, eat, I, because I'm the different body. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I eat like fast food and stuff, like I feel like shit. But like if I eat a, like a just too, I can eat too much of good food too, and not know that you're doing it because your body doesn't have a reaction it. to it. Well, it's just I'm just overeating now. Uh, like uh, uh, my caloric intake. What's your biggest? What's your biggest fucking weakness? Snack food. Uh, oof, man. What can you just destroy for immense amount of hours and you know it's like a problem? <laughs> 
bad. I'm like, what if you put your hand into a bag of it and you're like, stop it. It's fucking bite, <laughs> bite-sized Snickers. Damn, I, I, those I are good. Mom out, mom out here fucking is like, hey, uh, do you want a bag of Reese's peanut butter cups? Of course I do. <laughs> Yo, they're, that's the fucking best peanut butter snack. Of course I do. Now give me the bag and get out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Get, get, get out. Get you're, lost. You're why I'm sick. You're why I'm sick. <laughs> you gave me type Speaking two. Speaking of peanut butter, do you put the fucking peanut butter and then the jam on the peanut butter slice, or do you put it on the separate slice and then smack them together? What I do is fucking way... You want to talk about OCD? Oh, it's Here different. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I get peanut butter, right, with one knife, and I put it on both one sides. Knife. On both sides. I put the knife into the dishwasher. I get rid of it. I get another knife just for the jelly. I don't want my okay. peanut butter touching my jelly till it's on the sandwich. Okay. okay. <laughs> I would have spit everywhere. <laughs> That's it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't have... I don't want to open my peanut butter and see fucking dried jelly in it. Neither do I. Yeah, it's disgusting, dude, it's disgusting, right? Disgusting. You know, I don't like that either. Is that people, OCD, though? Or is no, that just, just we're not being, being gross? Very, yeah, I just think that's being very particular about your peanut butter. Yo, there's definitely people out there that don't give a fuck. No. And, and they just, just like, have hard old jelly in their peanut butter in their yeah. fucking just in their jars. It's like when people gross. Like when people have glasses that have like orange juice in it and they're done, but then they'll just fill it up with water and there's still a little bit of orange juice in there. Get a new fucking it, glass. Yes, yeah. What are you doing? I can't stand that shit. I do I the same stand thing. It. I, I do that too. That's okay. You do that? Yeah, but there's probably people who disagree with us though. They're just like it's wasteful. I'm like, no, it's not. I don't want to. I don't want to taste orange juice in my water. God, we're almost. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Exactly. People love doing shit. Like All that. right. Are you are, are you hood as fuck? Are, are you hood as fuck? And do you make the last bit of dish detergent last with mad water? Hell yeah, dude. I, 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 <laughs> have you ever fucking? Isn't it crazy how it like extends fucking the 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 amount and the life of fucking soap? Dude, you can extend the shel- shelf life of dish dude, soap for three years. I've biggest, had the same fucking thing of Don's biggest since hood life hack trick ever. Also, with shampoo, I would hold it under the water in the shower and just go, whoosh, whoosh. Is this a super Puerto Rican thing, you think, though? Uh, it's definitely a... A mom you know, thing. It's a definitely a Hispanic mom Wait. thing, for sure. <laughs> mom was... And then my mom had, like... Or a broke motherfucker thing. Yeah, and mom had, like, this whole, like... My mom had weird shit. She loved weird shit. She had, like, a, an entire dresser full of old magazines that she would never throw away. Do you remember that? And she'd be like, what about these magazines? She'd be like, don't touch them! Yeah, mom is in the JUCO of, like, hoarders. Yeah, she's in, yeah. like, the junior college league of, yeah. like, hoarders. Mom's not a D1 hoarder, but, like, oh, she's, she's up there. But though. she's, she's like, she's a prospect. Like, she'd probably be, like, a, like a walk-on or something. Dude, I'm, I'm, if she's a walk-on, I'm, I got a full ride. Because mom's not a scary hoarder. She's just a fucking... Compiler. She's just a, a, a nervous one, though. She doesn't like getting rid of things. No. Everything means something. Do you remember though? Like she had a whole bunch of shampoos under the <laughs> the sink that were never used, and she would just be like, "No, don't use those shampoos." I'm like, "What the fuck? We don't have any shampoo." She'd be like, "No, I got this in France." Yo, some people, <laughs> some <laughs> like, yo, chill. Some people are also very daddy chill. <laughs> some people are also very good at finding cheap zones like everywhere. Mom is the greatest coupon compiler of all time. Yo, is there an app that? can tell you where the cheapest places are for things that's my chair doing that oh noise. i thought somebody knocked that. no Yo, no suck my dick, dick. <laughs> straight up <laughs> tell me to stop recording the show suck my dick uh, back when you danny so danny before danny left last time to record he parked the fucking car in the wrong place and uh my my uh sweet ass neighbors wrote the most caucasian letter ever which is hey neighbor here's the deal if you park there, we can't get out, and it's very inconvenient, so stop doing it. <laughs> it ended very, like, it got more and more uh, Ben Gold, I guess, there. No, yeah, no. no. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed off. I'm fucking pissed. Uh, Dude, I would be pissed, too. I can't. I've, I ha- I don't think I've heard Ben that angry ever, uh, but also I, we're I, older yeah, now. No, no, I've heard you, Ben. You've had, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've been on the, on the side of that. Danny, you know what you did last night? You <laughs> peed. <laughs> Does he, does he know that we told the P story? Yeah, I sent it to him. Ben's the man. Shout out to Ben. Yo, ben, Bye, ben is the man. Ben is the man. Our hot um, Jewish friend. Yeah, he's the best. Um, Shout out to hot Jewish people. I feel like white people are really good at being like passive aggressive in notes. Like they like nobody. Nobody. I got two car notes this fucking month. Nobody transcends 
tone better than white people in notes. And they give their numbers at the end of it. It's oh, the yeah, weirdest they want thing all ever. the smoke. Dude, fucking, I was at my friend Jimmy's and I parked and was nowhere in the fucking driveway at all, by the way. Nowhere even fucking close. That's gross. I was literally yeah, this much. You could have easily backed out. And I had a letter in it. This guy did it in the in the in the rain. Put it in a Ziploc bag so that the note would be safe, and then and secured. Put it on my fucking windshield. Read the note. Yo, man, couldn't get into my driveway. Bull fucking shit. There is a fucking complete like fucking just open fucking wide gaping gap. It was so fucking so accessible. I've never seen anything more accessible in my life. And this guy, I guess, just in that one inch just threw him into fucking him Caucasian off. madness. And he fucking came out of nowhere and he fucking put the letter. Hey, man, this is Chris. Please don't fucking. Uh, hey, man, this is fucking Chris. Please don't park here. Had no way of getting in. Bullshit. Saw two of the cars in there when I was leaving. Oh, I thought he said <laughs> bullshit in the note. No. Puts his number at the end of it. There's nothing to talk about here. The fuck? You didn't hit my car. You didn't rear end me. Why, why is your number involved? I'm not calling you, Chris. Guess what I did? Took the fucking letter, Chris, wrapped it up, spit on it, and then threw it back in your driveway. And I don't know if they saw the letter crumpled up and in there again, but I spit on it and then I threw it back. But so I that wasn't you that, another note. Aren't you going back there tonight? You should park the same place. I should park in the same place. Park in the same place. I'm gonna not even. I'm gonna park in the driveway. Yeah. Well, no, that's illegal. Can I get towed at 3 a.m., 4 a.m.? 100%. You get towed at all hours, 100%. huh? 100%. Tow people towed don't go hard. to sleep. You guys are scumbags. Go to sleep. I, see, I have a big argument with that because people will be like, oh, my God, these meter maids, you fucking rent-a-cop fucking bitch. It's like, yo, you broke, you're not supposed to park there. Yeah, it literally says don't park there. You broke the rules. Yeah, it's true. It's like, true. You know, and now you're going to yell at this person for doing their job because yeah. you broke the law? Because, you know, at the end of the day, there's that guilt where you know you're a dumbass and, like, you can't take it on yourself because you're a bitch. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, I'm a bitch. I've done, I've done that mad times where I'm like, I'm gonna get mad for no reason at this. Dude, now. the worst is getting mad in stores knowing they can do nothing for you. You're like, this is insane. Yeah, and like that's when you start doing the fucking Karen Bob, like, right, right, guys. And there's like, dude, I just want to buy my shampoo and go home. <laughs> that's why I get the fuck out of here, bro. Bro, I went to a fucking supermarket yesterday, right? Well, the, the guy with the with, I don't know what the dates are. Yeah, uh, the Spanish guy, dude. You ever hear Baum Chicka Pow Pow? Yes. Popcorn? No. It's a it's a popcorn that's very fu- it's amazing. I love this popcorn. Okay. It's $5 a bag. Damn. Is it a lot? No, dude, it's fucking popcorn. Is it gourmet pop? It's gourmet popcorn. Gourmet yeah, pop bro. has been going off lately. Yo, I see it gourmet everywhere. Gourmet popcorn is so fucking Where do you good, get it? Like dude? a TJ Maxx or something? It's a it's like a fucking bougie fucking place. marketplace right but it's like five six dollars and for the, the fucking, fucking the bags bag. made out of like fucking real silver sheet yeah yes yes shit like that yes it's like it looks like a microwave yeah it's like a microwavable bag Bag. yeah it's so dope yeah but um i i just i don't understand how people can live in new york city for like i've lived there for like what like four or five years now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'd be so much richer impressively if i did not live there i mean I don't know why you do. I don't know why you do it, but I, you're there, and you've you started to love the city at the same time. You yes, we're going through shit. Yeah, which never made sense to me because I'd be a wreck. But you did it. You know, you like I being just, out in the city. And there's just something about New York that something, I got. something about New York. Yeah. And I will say this: the Jay Z Alicia Keys New York song. Bam, bam, bam. Fucking sucks. <laughs> you, know, you don't like it. <laughs> you don't like. Wait, you don't like. I fucking hate in that New, song. You don't like that song? Nah, bro. It doesn't get you fucking just fucking going? No, because it's. Uh, the fuck's the matter, you? It's just like. I, I, Why not? I like Frank Sinatra more in that yeah, situation. Yeah, well, I'd be done. No one's arguing I'll be that. I'll in Brooklyn. I'd be down in Tribeca right next to De Niro, but I'll be hood forever. I'm just like, yeah, I can't relate to the song at all whatsoever, and I'm from New York. Yeah. Like, I know it's like the concrete jungle where dreams are made of. It but, is. But wouldn't, isn't it a better lead? Not your concrete, dreams, apparently. Concrete jungle where dreams come true. That's a little better, right? Yeah. Now, are we arguing semantics now? Yeah. We're, we're arguing Jay-Z, Alicia Keys semantics at this point. I don't know. I just feel like if I, I would be okay if I never heard that song again in my entire life. <laughs> okay, so you hate it. You really don't like it that when much. When people are like, say yay, 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 y
kept, you just kept, are you just, so have you been in a Yankee game and you're like, shut the fuck up? Oh my God. I'm like, dude. You're embarrassing me. Yeah. Put the fucking Frank song on. Yeah. Put the Frank it. song on. I agree. Put the Frank song on. Yeah. There's, there's something like, listen, if the song was classic better, gentleman. It's just, right? like, it's just like that, that undertone that, of mafia involvement in there. That song is just so fucking corny to me. It is. It is corny. You, you know right. what no, I'm saying? Oh, it's definitely corny. Yeah. But it, but there are moments where I'm like, yeah, I'm from fucking New York. Yeah. I, I, that's happened to me. <laughs> when I hear it. There's, there's times I've heard that song. I'm like, yeah, this, this fucking city's the best. I love America and yeah. everything in it. <laughs> yeah. And then, but then and I'm then, just like, oh. And then you just hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you know it is a corny song it's i agree corny as it's, shit. it's pretty it's fucking corny, corny. As shit. It, is. it is you know what i mean and then like you could say new york new york by frank is well, corny too but he just has so much swag you can't say it you well what's it. the most new york thing that you like about new york what's not corny besides frank <sighs> that song i mean like the fact that like you know like Dipset doesn't have like you know like welcome yeah. to New York City. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. To New York City. I like that shit way more than I like Empire State of Mind. Dipset was such a movement, man. God, I love Dipset. Birthplace of Michael Jordan. Also, it wasn't Over like it, it's not like Dipset, Cameron, Jim Jones, Joel Santana. Like these guys were not known. They were big fucking Harlem. Hell yeah, everything was Harlem as fuck. But it got a little goofy to me at one point. Even though they were not goofsters, but like the fucking it like. The, the, the style, got, the the style got, got a little weird. Yeah, it got weird. Uh, for me as a kid, I was just like, they're on. But that was, apparently that's Harlem Flash, right? So yeah. that's been a thing since, you know, the I was broken ro- glass everywhere. I was walk, uh, rocking, walking. I was rocking quadruple XTs. I was wearing big ass YTs too. Yeah, now I just fit them. Dude, I had a fucking fake ass fucking Gucci velour suit that, yeah, mom, that mom got from like fucking Canal Street and turned my whole body purple. <laughs> Because I sweat in it and all the chemicals came off and made me all sick. <laughs> Mom always kept us fresh, though. She did. She always kept us fresh. She's like, you want these 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 boots? I'm like, those are not Tim. Mom came home, I remember, once yeah, with these shoes yeah, that she, were made out of, like, paper fucking mache. Yeah. I was like, those are not Timberlands, you sick fuck. Yeah. Don't Ma- come back home until you fucking got a nice pair of fucking Timberlands. Yeah, and then every once in a while, she would, like, uh, she would just bring home stuff that didn't make sense. And then I would be like, you know, well, I remember one time we went to fucking yeah, Walmart. Yeah, because it was made in Indonesia and yeah. then sent here and then sold on Canal Street. But we went to Walmart once, and I saw a basketball and a bike, mm-hmm. okay? And I was like, damn, I really want this basketball and this bike, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And... You know, mom was a big layaway person. She would, she yeah. would love. She'd be like, "We'll be layaway. back in like three weeks." Yeah, she's like, "Hold this, and I'll come hold, get it." Hold this. You want I'm that? Kidding. You're getting it. We'll be back in three weeks. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" I thought I was gonna hold that shit tonight. Yeah, but I, th- I didn't know what layaway was. I got so confused that we waited on the line. I get this bike and this bicycle. She's like, "Yeah, come on, we can get it." I'm waiting on this line. I have no idea what layaway is. I had no idea what it was either. No, so they take the bike. Sounds like a ho- like a Hawaiian word. They take the bike. And the basketball. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking they're going to put this shit in a bag or a box or, and fucking I'm out of here. They just put it in the back and it's, I, I never saw it. I thought it was a Hawaiian word when I was younger. Alehua. Alehua. Alahua. 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 That's not. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my thought, Habibis. Yeah, Habib, Habibi, I love you. I um, I thought layaway yeah. was one word when I was younger. Mashallah. Huh? Is layaway even a fucking thing still? Yes, layaway. Can you put still shit on fucking hold, hold, no. hold, 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 hold. But mom, I think that was mom's way of like buying a stuff without buying it. Like I would go to school and be like, "Yeah, I have a bike," but like three weeks. <laughs> but I'm not gonna see it in like three weeks. Yeah, just be like, and how then many the fucking store- days that I spend waiting on layaway lines. We get. Yeah, and then the store would burn down because it was in the hood, and then we didn't have anything. My mom always knew somebody that worked in a store too. Like she like helped their kids do something. Mom has helped so many people do shit. She's like, oh, you got to go like go see this woman Beth. Like I I taught her daughter how to read. She owes me a favor. She works in like healthcare. Yeah, how the She's fuck like, do you have she time? Know I don't know. She knows mad. People. Mom and dad are old school like that. Like my parents go everywhere. They do everything through all the shit they've been through. Like yeah, even yeah, anxiety. Yeah. Like they fucking go everywhere. It's crazy. Mom would just be like, I am so afraid. I, I'm so afraid of Corona. She's like, I'm flying to San Diego tomorrow. Yeah, she's I'm a big traveler. Like, no, big time gangster, traveler. You know? For me, I have to have like a pep talk for the last three days in order for me to get on a plane or do anything. Do you feel like you have to give yourself pep talks a lot about things? Yes, almost every fucking day. That's what saves me is, is looking in the talk? mirror, is looking in the mirror, opening my eyes after having them closed, looking up in the mirror and going, stop being a little bitch. And then I do it. You have to call yourself out that hard. 
Sometimes. Sometimes I've been like, stop being a bitch. I've slapped myself sometimes. I have. Not like super aggressively, but I've like slapped myself like, come on, wake up, bro. Let's bro, do this I today. Saw, I saw Mike headbutt a wall once, but he didn't realize how hard this wall was. I think you thought that it was like one of those walls where your head goes through the wall, but this was a very hard <laughs> I, wall. I, I like that I thought that. As, like, the first thing. Well, you know, like, there's certain walls. I definitely just did it to do it. But there's certain walls you punch. I was a dumbass. There's certain walls you punch. You're like, my arm will go through this. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You analyze I'll, I'll before I'll you. I'll tear this thing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because one time in the living room, I punched a hole in that door. And Dad was like, that was one of the most impressive door punches I've ever seen in my entire oh, life. Oh, yeah, he did say that. And he goes, yeah. that was, ex- I hit it like, I was like Rampage Jackson. Jared did it too when he had an allergy reaction when he was ch- when he was uh, suffocating. Oh yeah, he ate like a piece. He has allergic to shellfish. He but like the thing about shellfish. Jared is, I guess when he's fucking suffocating, he turns into a super saiyan, and he literally shoved his whole arm through a door. Oh yeah, dude, I beat this door into fucking sawdust. Yeah, you rampage Jackson did. Oh my god, I, my dad couldn't even be mad. He's like, I'm not even mad at you. I'm impressed. <laughs> like Ron Burgundy. Yeah, he's like, I want. I didn't like that door anyway. Yeah, he's like, the door is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, my son is scaring me. <laughs> my son is scaring me. <laughs> no, but um, what the fuck was I saying before? God, we just oh, oh Mike we, headbutted we, a wall, right? Yes. So Mike is uh talking to my mom about spaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's arguing, uh, not arguing with my mom. My mom's trying to help him with something. He's having like anxiety or something, and he headbutts <laughs> the wall. But his fucking f- nose and face hits the wall. Oh, yeah. I, like, s- cracked my nose. Fully concussed, too. Cause you, oh, man. I was just a, I was just a rampage wall. little boy back then. Yeah, you smashed your head off the wall, and then you came back to try and, like, form a sentence, and it was nonsense. It was just yeah. like, what's up? Yeah, what's up? And then you yep. literally fell face first because you knocked yourself out for and a second. And that was the beginning of trap music. Yeah, and that was the beginning of uh, Future's career. <laughs> Ghost writing. Yeah, so I was bleeding face- from my nose. I do remember that. Yeah. Did I fall? It was, it was I over did a break- fall, it was over dude. A breakup. Yeah, dude, you knocked yourself out. Oh, my God. It was over a breakup. Yeah, Holy bro. God. I sound like a psychopath. Well, I was when I was younger. I was bro. a very angry child. You know when somebody bangs their head up, or like bangs up against something, and you could feel it? Ladies, feel you it. guys can hang out with me now, right? I won't do that, I promise, anymore. I grew up. Yeah, this is when you were a teenager. Yeah, I was very... But you know what it made me feel like? Like... Do you remember HBO where they redid movies about real shit and then they would show the real person afterwards talking about their fucking story? Like half of their face is gone and, and shit. And that steroid kid was one? Yeah, he's like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was ben like Affleck played him. Oh, did he? Yeah, Ben Affleck plays the kid. And the HBO shit? Yeah, it's Ben Affleck. Bro. And then at the end they're like, hi, I'm Tom Johnson and I'm just letting you know that like steroids fucked me when I was a kid. And you're like, Jesus Christ. Our mom and dad... Not here, and why am I watching this? Nope, <laughs> Eight. Nope, yeah. Those, well, was it HBO True Life or some shit? It was like HBO. No, that's MTV. movies or some shit. I don't know what it was, dude. It was weird. It was fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. So like Ben Affleck's like on steroids. It wasn't weird. It was just very real. Yeah. Ben Affleck's on steroids, and like his girlfriend like comes over. He's like, "Don't fucking touch me." Yeah. And, like <laughs> backhands her. Like, <laughs> like hits her and your, shit. Your steroid scream is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Get the fuck off me! Oh, like God. hits her and then like. She leaves him because she finds out he's on steroids, and then he starts banging his shoulder up against the wall. Yeah, and so then when he's done, he's like, ah! "Yeah, it was very like rage. It was very like a. Uh, ah! uh, it was very like a uh, raging bull. Like I'm not stupid. I'm not. I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. <laughs> no, no, no. And they show the real guy afterwards, and he looks nothing like this hot dude that they picked. And he's just like, "Hi, I'm Tom Johnson. And when I was 18, I sucked steroids all the time, and I was crazy. Don't do them." I think something like that. Yeah. So Mike bashed his face off this wall, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and hard as fuck. And you tried to hold it together, but you were not nah, a little concussed. I was concussed. And then you were just like, so you know, no, and fell down. I was like, damn, dude, he really knocked himself the fuck out. Yeah, I did. Think about how easy it was to smash things as a kid. I can't even think about smashing something now. No, like my anger doesn't get to that point. I just scream now. If if if, if anything, I don't I don't have the energy. So I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna like fight me or some shit, then I got the, the right, I got right. time today. I got time today. But I, like I that's different. I like I don't just go around breaking shit anymore. I mean, that's not true though. I have a hole in this door right now. I do. 
I do actually have a hole in that door, but that door is a bitch. I fucking, I fucking barely hit it, and the next thing you know, there was like fucking a huge hole in it. What were you mad about? Now I love that the last that. like twenty minutes of every episode. I was arguing with someone on the therapy. phone. I think I was arguing with somebody on the phone. I think, and I just fucking went into full Hulk, fucking Barack, Barack mode, Barack Obama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fully, what's his name? Well, and I'm fucking. Upset. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm upset. Uh, you're making a, uh, you're making the thug come out of me. And uh, there's nothing left to do. I'm gonna punch this wall. Uh, don't bring out the bat of me. That's what I'm gonna say. All right. I'll slam this door. <laughs> God, I got a D- fucking eyelash in my eye for the last uh, three minutes. Drive me crazy. Uh, Drive me crazy. Uh, don't bring out the gangster in me. I will. <laughs> I, will I will do it. Uh, when you Whoa, punch, where are my thugs at? Yeah, but when you punch a wall, though, you know you lost control, right? When I punch a wall ever? Yeah. Yeah, yes, you're right. 100% I've you know lost control. Saying? Yeah. But you know what? It, it was like it was like five years. Uh, no, no, no. It was like a lot of years in the making. I, I, needed, a, I needed a wall punch, a door punch. Bro, I literally, it had been a long time. You know, all that pent up shit. I literally looked down and you just. My thighs? No, you just flicked your penis and balls. Oh, yeah. I do, yeah, I do that a lot. I flick my dick a lot. Maybe that's a Tourette's thing. <laughs> no, why do boys do that? Yo, though? do you have Tourette's? Yeah, what do you do? Uh, I, like, flick my hands and my dick sometimes. <laughs> the tip of my penis. <laughs> I don't know why it is, but I think a large percentage of men hold their nuts out. Yeah, girls are never like, yo, what up? They don't, like, just tap that puss. We, we just go around girls flicking our dick. Shit. Yeah, I'll just be like, what are you doing? I did date a girl who put her hands in her pants. That was so weird. Like she was, was in jail or like held I, a cooter. Yeah. No, she would just like be sitting there and just put her fucking hand in her schmanditch. <laughs> not in it, not in it, not inside it, but like she would have her hands, but I'm like, you're not holding onto anything. You're just fucking putting a, a hand mask she, over your vagina. She would just cup her, her lady bump. Yeah. And like guys, like we, there's, I mean, if your penis has the fucking, the pass, the, the, uh, the distance, you got to move it around sometimes. You know what I mean? It gets a little snugged up, and you got to like push it to a side or do something else. Dude, that's true. You know, that's true. There's no better. Girls don't have to move anything to the side unless you have the fucking biggest clip lips I've ever seen in my life. You got fucking goddamn uh, full staff fucking uh, flag, American flag flapping around down there. That's about it. <laughs> Imagine mean, I did a girl with huge clip lips just being like, "Hold on, give me one sec." <laughs> Flapping it to the side, I'd be like, "That's my kind of woman right there." Pulling, pulling a sweaty nutsack off one's leg is probably oh, the most God. relieving feeling. Dude, it's, it's like when a girl takes a bra. Off, probably. It's like when you take the plastic off a new TV. Yes, right. Yeah, Slowly yeah. ripping it uh, off. Yes, and then you put it onto the new side, and then it's fucking stuck again in five minutes. And also that plastic. I know it serves a purpose, but it really doesn't. You know, people just put that on and just be like, yo, people are going to love to peel this shit off. It really doesn't, though. I thought it was like so you don't get scratches on it. Because, listen, you got, if my TV was delivered without a fucking plastic wrap on it, a protector thing. But bro, they put so much fucking styrofoam on that fucking thing. Yeah, that was a lot in that one, too. And that's a thin-ass TV that I had, but that shit was heavier than a bitch. How much was that TV? Uh, how much did I pay for that TV? Seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. It's that was with, that's with awesome taxes. TV. It's a very good TV. Yeah. yeah, the fucking remote has a fucking Siri built into it. That's, Are you sure that this is what you want to play? Do you want to play Casper featuring Christina Ricci? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that movie, dude? Christina Ricci's forehead was fucking crazy. Yo, Christina Ricci had the fucking big ass fucking <laughs> forehead. Oh, damn, she ruined our. Shit. Damn, She's like don't fuck with me. <laughs> Christina Ricci's forehead was ridiculous. Even as a kid, I was like, God damn. But I also remember having a huge crush on her. Very cute still. Yeah. And then she did like Black Snake Moan. That movie was weird. That movie was weird. But also I was not going to bone her to it, I think. Because she was ready to bang. Very sweaty. Not the bad part. The parts where she, she was, was just like super horny. Real sweaty, dirty. Also Samuel Jackson. Yes. What the fuck? Uh, he He's want- in everything. Yeah, bro. but he, want- he wanted to make her less of a horny of a, of a horny venage. Why? What's the story behind that? I think she's a sex addict in the movie. I saw it once. I can't remember though. And like Justin Timberlake's in it. Um, I only know that movie because sex addict. our cousin Christian would creepily ask me all the time, "You ever seen Black Snake Moon?" And I was just like, "No." And then finally we watched it together, and I was like, "That was a crazy movie." I'm actually happy that I saw it. It's a good movie. Yeah, I think she's sex addicted, and like Samuel Jackson's like ties her to a radiator to like make her not horny anymore. That's also like yes. That's what it is. Basically, in sli- like uh, imprisons her. 
Which is um, kind of cool because he's trying to just help her from being, but, but also at the same time, super weird. Her body, her rights. Yeah. She wants to go and get super dick. Super weird. Let her go out and get dick. Get Don't dick. slut shame her by tying her to a radiator. But she, old jack because she would literally get IBS when she couldn't fuck, right? Or something like that. Yeah, something like she'd that. She get like, she would like shit her pants if yeah. she couldn't fuck or something. She's in like a football field. She's like, no. If I, if I, yeah, it was like a sound that plays. It was like, what is she looking like? Horny headache. She's like, oh my god, I have IBS too. Can I go around just banging everybody? Now? Imagine, if it, you know, it, it's a possibility where you can get so horny that your head hurts. That's fucking crazy. That is fucking crazy, though. Well, ah, god damn, that would be weird. You have horny headaches. Also, that would be so painful, though. Having sex all the time would suck. I mean, it would be great, but it would also suck, right? After. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it would be pretty fucking hurtful to your bod after your genitalia would be fucking you'd be fucking down to the last layer of skin oh, smithereens ribbons down to your fucking epiderms or no no epiderms is the first layer what's the what's the next few layers of skin I, I used to know this <laughs> you know my way was remembering it like it's like layers like fucking uh, what's that gum the epidermis is the top layer of the skin right? It looks like a lasagna. That shit. That picture looks like a lasagna. And then, yeah, it does. Skin always looks like a hairy lasagna. Those little die. Those little die. Whatever the fuck yeah. they're called. It looks like uh, somebody put pubes on a lasagna. <laughs> uh, dermis. The epidermis is top. The dermis is the second layer. It's and just the dermis. Subcutaneous fat is the bottom layer of skin i like how they went to dermis like they were like it's gonna get easier and then they just gave you the shittiest word after that this looks like the worst neapolitan fucking pizza fucking or, pizza or, cake, or cake ice cream i've ever seen <laughs> it does look like cake dude <laughs> it looks like a fucking shit like a kid made a neapolitan you guys all cake. know what we're talking about too because it's the same fucking picture in every biological fucking uh textbook bio- biology textbook in school it either looks like lasagna or fucking cake from fucking carvel this looks disgusting it looks so gross but now i'm kind of hungry for cake you know what's kind of weird too like i have birthday cake in my fridge you want some later oh, damn, i would but i'm diabetic oh yeah damn yeah. sorry worst brother ever i gave up sweets for lent i'm not i'm not catholic but i just wanted to like find a way to not have diabetes yo bro i have fucking airheads you want some <laughs> which is I probably like your fucking mommy trying to give me a whole i know thing the reason fucking- <laughs> i know i'm the worst listener and dad's in the car and he just goes you don't want that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go home. Dad, like, let's go home. Dad always wants to go home. Nobody wants to go home worse than my dad. This uh, thing always wants disgusting. to go home. Everything is, can we just fucking go home? You know what's the crazy? Yeah, it's, that's where do we get it from? This thing, True. the craziest thing about hair growing out of skin is that underneath all of this, a fucking cyst can grow full of goo and pop it and comes out. I love watching videos of people blowing cysts. Oh, out. you're one of those weirdos? Yeah, dude. I can't do that, man. Why yeah. do you like that? For some reason, because I've had a cyst, and I've had it explode. Remember when my butthole exploded? Yeah, dude, yeah. you were in massive pain. That yeah, was really sleep. hard to, like, deal with, because you were just fucking, I felt so bad. Dude, I would cry myself to sleep. You were like, man. I'm so afraid to pop this thing. <laughs> and you did it. I did it. And you did it, and there were like there was, like, a, a fucking baby finger in there, and, like, three hairs and shit. Like a license plate. It was gross. Yeah, you were like fucking. You were like fucking Jaws. You smelt when, it too. You were like that shark in Jaws when they opened it up. No, I didn't smell it at I all. Thought, I thought you were in the. Oh no, Jared. No, smelt bro. It. No offense. I would have punched you in your fucking face if you would have put that fucking thing near my face. Yeah, you, <laughs> you showed me though. You were like, "Yo, look at this shit, cuz." I was like, "Yo, what is wrong with your?" And you were like, "I told you, bro. I wasn't fucking playing around. I was like, D- I had some weird growth. I, I couldn't believe that that was." I couldn't believe that that was in your butthole. Or where, where was it? It's it, it's called a pelonidal cyst, and it sits at the top of your ass crock. <laughs> <laughs> that and was very like good. All, that went good with the pelonidal? Pelonidal. Pelonidal. Yeah. You want to see a picture of one? How did you find out? Because uh, you, you never went to a doctor, I thought. No, I went after it drained. Because you were... Okay, yeah, yeah right. And, and they had to, uh, they had to oh. open it up and clean the rest of it out. So it's like what I had was, was this. See that? Remember how my ass was? Is that a vagina like that? or an ass crack? That's the top of the ass crack. Oh. And then it comes out and then it leaked down my my entire butt. God, that's so, crazy. Yeah, dude. And it was, you know, it was just running and running and running. Yeah, you're so thugged out for popping it, though. How'd you do that? Uh, I just, I took um, tweezers. Right. And I and like, just I, went I, in. I, ster- I sterilized them like over the stove. <laughs> Thank you. 
I sterilize them over the stove. And yeah, with, with 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 water in a soap fucking bottle. Yeah, <laughs> so sprayed it on it. I just like heated it up, sterilized it, and then I just put it down as much as I could and picked it up. Woo! Like, that's thugged out. And then just started to. You want to see? And you guys, don't act like you've never seen this shit. You never heard of this shit? Yes, I want to fucking definitely see it. Right, Show me this shit. Seal on idle. Watch. This is what came out of my ass. Oh, God. All right. I'm ready. I'm going right. to be gripping onto this mic like a fucking yeah, sex worker on a dick. Watch. Ew, is that chicken, bro? That, that's the cyst at the top of the ass. Why does this guy got like a fucking accent? <laughs> is this dude in this room? No, he's at the hospital. Watch. Oh, this is a doctor? Watch how much shit comes out of this guy's ass. God, I'm so happy you guys can't see this. Oh, I'm so happy people can't see this. They had to put... They, they, they gave oh, God, me no. when I went. Oh, God, please don't. Oh, God, don't do that. In the box. Oh, God. This is a numbing agent. Okay. Oh, to... All right. So oh. Now- oh! What? I'd rather see a fucking baby come out of a vagina. Oh! Oh! Look at that. Yeah, dude. Why does this look like birth? Now they got to go in there and get it. Ew, fuck your ass. Turn that shit off. Yeah, dude. That came out of my butthole. You bro. did that in the bathroom? Yes, like a real G. Dude, last night? That's like having your, like a, you had like a discharge. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not blood. It's like blood and pus and hair. Did it hurt when you did it? No. It hurt when I did it as soon as it a tear came down my eye. <laughs> Because I was, I was so relieved. God, so disgusting, bro. Last night I'm sleeping. God. Last yes. night I'm sleeping. I wake up and I'm like, "All right, cool." I blow out of my nose, just go like, like this, and you're fucking. And I just start gushing blood out of my nose. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It might be allergies because because we're in we're almost in spring now. Yeah, so I just go like this. I just go while I'm sleeping in bed, and then I feel all this water. <laughs> Running over my mouth, dude. That's terrifying. Yo, that's terrifying. Yeah, dude. I would have been scared as shit. I'm laying on my side like this. I just go. I'm like, what's that water? And then I I, I was like, what the fuck, yo? Yeah. Because I thought it was just like, um, (laughs) I thought it was like runny nose first. I was right, right, right. Like did one of those, right? And then it just kept coming, and I was like, oh Jesus! I was like, yo, it's bleeding. Did you automatically just panic? Oh like yeah, you thought you were dying. Yeah, I thought I was having an aneurysm or stroke or something. God, that is weird. Yo, I had the weirdest dream last night. That uh, uh, someone came, like someone came up to me and, and was it was literally like a two second dream, and they were trying to talk to me, and I couldn't talk in the dream, and I was like, huh, 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 huh. I was like having a seizure, bro, and I fucking woke. This is last night, and I like woke up, and I was like, my brain felt like it was like fucking boiling. It was the weirdest thing ever. Oh, that's the worst. I was like, did I have a mini seize? No, no. It was weird, man. It was a struggling ass dream, dude. <laughs> I was dying. That's scary. That's a terrifying one. Have right? you ever had fucking the shit where you can't move your body? Yeah, dude. All the fucking. What's house. that? Is that sleep paralysis? Sleep paralysis. I had night terrors though, like a week ago. It was fucking terrible. I had sleep paralysis once, and I fucking woke up, and I heard my cousin and our friend AJ going up the steps when John and them lived upstairs, and I heard them talking about a fucking sandwich, and I had to hear them talking about like a hoagie or whatever the fuck they were saying. I had to hear John or someone talking about like a ham and cheese sandwich while I was suffering, and I couldn't move my body. <laughs> I, I'll never forget that waking up and hearing it, but being asleep, like, yo, sleep paralysis is the weirdest thing ever because your eyes are just moving and nothing else is going. And then also you feel like you can't breathe, but you can. Yes. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's, that's what the fuck I almost felt. Yeah, Dude, I've gotten like, that like three times yeah, or two times. Like, and I am dreading every time it happens because that two seconds feels like 30 minutes. And I could tell when it's happening too because I'm floating in and out of consciousness. So I have one of those ones where I'm just kind of just like, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know it's going to be a yeah, sensitive yeah. ass night for yourself. Yeah, I had night terrors like three nights ago. It was terrible. It's fucking crazy, bro. Night terrors is fucking scary, dude. Because you just wake up and you're like, "Yo, what's going on?" I was having panic attacks in my sleep. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, and then I was waking up from them. I, my panic was so bad. Jesus, yeah, God. it sucks. We're just fucking pathetic losers. Nah, we're fucking awesome, dude. We have an awesome show. We have a ring light now. Nobody could tell shit. He's not going to say that when everything goes off. No. <laughs> He's going to be like, I fucking suck. No, I've had a panic attack before we had to film the show a couple times. No, panic attacks, that shit made us stronger, bro. John, you know, John had him too. It made John start like, you know what I mean? Like, people go through it. It, su- it sucks. Real little talk. Thi- it sucks, but. Little things don't bother me anymore. Like, right. Uh, right. Like, little, 
like life inconveniences because my life has just been so much harder. Yeah, but you're also in this mode now where you're like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what happens after a while. I've told if myself you deal now, with them for a lot. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm like, yo, if I'm just going to die, I'm going to die. God wants me to die, I guess. Yeah, but we're both going to live forever. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. But that's why I can't smoke weed because that shit always made me like look up like decomposition of the body and shit. Yeah, I never pushed myself to get that weird when I was high because I knew it was too much to see some weird shit like yeah, that. Yeah, then I'm like, I'd rather just dying. I'd rather smoke and play a fucking goddamn fucking video game or just fucking go in a padded room. Yeah, but you could smoke and be by yourself. That's smoking by myself. Every once in a while, I miss when I would just take a one hitter and like watch Mike Epps. Yes. Like, yeah, like, oh my god, I'm so high. I'm so high. This is yeah. fucking hilarious. And, and not sharing it with anyone, just laughing my ass off eating food. Yes. It, but th- those but, days are the best. But like as you get older, you smoke. If you stop, some people smoke forever, some people don't. Everyone's body's different. But when I try to tell people who smoke all the time, I just change because of this. They're like, no, do this. I'm like, no, dude, I just can't smoke anymore. I can't do it. I can smoke a little bit, but even then I'm like, I'm gonna die. I just can't do it. It's. I used to love smoking weed, though, all the time. Like I said, gravity bonks all day, every day. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, for your birthday, do you have anything planned? Are you staying home? I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. You're going to str- be streaming tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So how many years have you been doing Twitch now? Four years. God damn, really? Four years in April 17th. Yep. Fuck. April, April 17th. 17th. Are you going to do a 24-hour stream? Do you still do those? I did uh, two of those. I would never do that in my life. One of them, Daniel Lopriori, helped me out big time during that one. Uh, the s- second one I did on my own. How? Um, Just fucking pure mental fucking endurance and strength and godliness. A and 24-hour stream is unbelievable. Unbelievable. At 33 years old. 34. Sorry. Yeah, thirty four years old. I did it. I did it after my fucking colonoscopy too. What if what if we get to three hundred patrons? Would you do a twenty four hour stream, or is that that's not enough? No, at, at three hundred, I'll I'll do some shit. But twenty four hours is very taxing on an old man. It's like it's like not. What about like five hundred? If we ever get to five hundred, I would do it. You'd have to do I, it. Yeah, with I would me. do it with you. I would, God, I would do it with be, you. That's it's dude. It's it's it's, it's trying. Have you ever stayed up for 24 hours yeah. on a fucking... Yes, not willingly, though. And you have to be entertaining the whole time? No. I'd probably rather take a plane and go to, like, Japan. Like, were you ever having those moments where you're like, yeah, I'm not going to make it, guys? I did the first one, yeah. That's you're- why Daniel helped out big time. But the second one, I fucking killed it. I didn't have a problem staying up 24 hours. It's what, just a what, terrible thing to do to yourself. What did though. you play? Oh, my God. I don't even remember, man. I don't remember. That whole stream was a blank to me. I had sub goals during it. So uh, it was a subathon that turned into a 24 hour. So the subathon had oh, goals during it. Okay. I had to do weird shit. I had to like dress up like Prince. I had to, uh, I had to, uh, pr- I had to, I had to speak to God while I was pouring water on myself or something weird shit like that. I had to like praise <laughs> God or something like that. Someone told me to say a prayer while fucking uh, putting water on my face. I was like, holy, holy father who art in hell. <laughs> Lord in heaven i'm like joking on shit it was weird shit but like it was funny and everyone had a good time with it but it was fucking scary doing 24 hours is a scary thing it is 24 hours is a, is a scary thing it's a freaky thing but i'm telling you maybe i will maybe i will we'll talk about it yeah we'll maybe, talk maybe about that it. will be something I yeah, but you, you you know you you got the guys maybe i'll play yeah exactly you know what i mean exactly speaking of guys and girls love guys we love guys and girls so we much. also love our patreon shout out to our patreons listen guys sounds like a fucking pokemon evolve if it wasn't for the patrons i don't know what i'd do is it patreon or patreon uh patrons but it's patreon it's called. oh yes yeah. patrons yes you're right so let's get to our lot nation ceos and cfos amanda derp Allison, Meta, Annie Alamad, Bethany Sykes, winner of the Amazon gift card, Brittany, Claudia, Daniel Lopriori, DJ Kento, Estella Escobar, Jessica Kuntz, Joseph Ar- 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 Ars- Arsenal, Arsenio Hall, Ars- Ar- Arsenio Hall, Joseph, Juan P. Valencia, Julie Leone, K- Kanan, Conan, The Destroyer, Nicole Derelou, Nicholas N- Nelson, 
Nudes to my dad, Samantha, Spencer Purdue, The Real Pachu, Tim, Tito Melendez, Cameron, Julia, Fisher, Dreyfus, Chelsea, R- R- Rennell, Rannells, Colin Anderson, Donald Brown, Eddie, Hayden Hoskins, Jacob, Josh Hubel, John Kaminskis, Linda from Accounting, Liz Anamani, my, that's just my, Olivia Cepeda, New John. John. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sheila Viejo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ben Armstrong. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, those are everybody. Mike, where can they find you on the internet, bud? Y'all know me. Still the same LG. Twitch.tv slash Michael underscore Lopriori. And you can find me, Danny Lopriori, on Instagram and Twitter at Danny Lopriori on both. And also go check out my mental health podcast, Off, Off the, the Cuff. Cuff. All right, with my partners over there at One on One. We're doing great things. Love you guys. Thank you for everything that you guys have done for us in the beginning of this podcast. We're just going to keep vibing and keep doing the same thing, man. Just having fun. Appreciate you guys. Just episode. having fun. Two hours today. Two hour episode in that ass. Love you guys. Fucking hit my tooth again with the mic. <laughs> have a good night, guys. <laughs> Deuces. Have a good night, guys.